Macbeardia, ideology. Today it continues. We're going to try hard this colony up to probably, I would say, 18 to 20 hours, which we're coming up on now. Uh, this has been a very long colony, but this is just honestly how long it takes to create a RimWorld colony. We're going to kind of fulfill the end of the ideal legends today. That is to say, we're going to convert Bourbon, the originally unethical doctor. This was pointed out to me that he was an unethical doctor, and his original ideal religion was ethical ethics, which is an actual ideal religion in this game's world. A little odd one, uh one would say. However, we're just gonna have to live with that. We've got all of the stone chunks here. We just This colony is a mess because it's so vanilla. I didn't use any storage mods because I just wanted to see what it would be like, but I'm reminded of why I play with mods all the time anyway. We got our prison. This place is finally shaping up to be something decent. Uh, the only thing that I would like to do would just be spam more granite spike traps. Maybe get some turrets in here. And then, uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and just research turrets if we've not already done it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and move, make the move toward gun turrets. Microelectronics I'll do in good time, but again, my goal has not been to get off of the planet. We've been trying to get out of the base eventually, so that we could go and find that mono sword, which I think we will actually get to do today now. It's taken me long enough, but I feel fairly well defended. We just gotta get bourbon converted to our ideal religion. Uh, I'd only recently started following my stream. I'm doing a week. That's your reason. How's my relationship with Terraria? Uh, Terraria, I haven't touched in a while, but I wanted to do another video on it. It's just been too long, really. The thing is that there's so many games, and there's more than I can really ever get to. But that's kind of the joy of this, is that I feel overwhelmed by the amount of gaming that I can't do. So... I mean, that's all to say that I just like to focus in on the things that, I don't know, get me the most immersed in them, like this RimWorld. Ideology expansion. It's been capturing me, but I feel like that we've seen... Ah, uh, yes. He's been converted among the, no the mole people. Great. Okay, we've been waiting for this. Now... Hmm... This is bad. Because he wants... Uh, he wants smoke leaf, beer, whatever, whatever we can get for him, and yet our ideal religion says that bourbon can't really do this. We're gonna go ahead and release him, I'm thinking? Uh, is he here? Yeah, good, we've converted him. Now we can release him, because he was originally one of our colonists. Uh, yeah, go ahead and release him, that'll be more labor. More labor from the unethical- there we are, from the unethical doctor. Ogre stacks over deep storage. Yeah, a lot of the mods have been updated now. Mod manager unofficially. Um, not by Fluffy, but uh, by somebody else. So, I, anyway, Fluffy's mods are fantastic, and I, I really can't play the game without many of them. I, I just kind of wanted to go back to vanilla and see what it was like originally. See if any of that stuff had been fixed, but for God's sake, we have so many stone chunks. Anyway, our farms are now extremely productive. Where are we at with... Um, Components? 63 components. We're gonna let them finish this off, but then I just want to optimize a few folks for combat, and then I think we can actually send them on quests after this. We've got some fantastic combatants like Cheetah, who now has a plasteel spear. Uh, who else? Meerkat or Rargu has a plasteel spear. And Nugfer is pretty good in melee combat. So I'm not really afraid of an infestation anymore. I'm not afraid of mechanoids, because we did fine with mechanoids just a little while back. Um, hey, Molotov, thanks very much for the five gift subs. Very much unmerited. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm. <laughs> thanks, Cryo Storage. Yeah, we'd, uh, we'd do a little bit of reading at some point. Actually, I've been trying to get back into reading just on my own, like, personal time. Admittedly, haven't had that much time for personal, uh, reading. But I've been reading, uh, Bill Bryson again. He's a good author. Very funny guy, just very witty writings. Major break, break risk on Rargu. Now, he's got, uh, he's also part of old archism, so I don't know if Bourbon is really ideally suited to this colony. Uh, we might go about more conversion rituals this time, too. So we'll, we'll fulfill the ideal religion. What am I trying to say? We'll finish off defending ourselves, and then we will make our way out. 
to go ahead and like um, uh, just get that mono sword. I really have been wanting this mono sword, and that'll make our other colonists stronger. I'm wondering if we could use that or this thing, or if it needs to be a reliquary, like forever. But it also seems as if mechanoids and other breach raiders will stop at nothing to attack these traps out, or just to get through in some straight line. So let's try to seal this off as much as possible, because people would come in through here. Hey, Weemsy, thanks very much for the prime. And Atomic Shark for the, uh, for the gift sub. God bless. More neck beard. More necks to beard. Yes, we will neck all of their beards. Psychic soothe on males. Okay, now is the perfect time to act. With bourbon researching. Major break risk on Meerkat. I thought we were done with this crap. All these people from old archism are pretty upset to be living here. I think we should make some efforts to convert them before we head out. But now, fortunately, we can pretty much convert somebody consistently every uh, every couple of days. Is this uh, what is what f celebratory gathering for our colonists to have fun? Uh, but this seems to be from another ideologian, and I think we're seeing two ideologians at play here because these are archism rituals. But ours, I mean, we have only public execution, conversion ritual, and jubilee of stone. We could also have a leader's speech. Let's just see if... Could Winters give a leader's speech? That might actually be a great way to turn around... Turn this frown upside down. So to speak. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it. But unfortunately, most of the people who are about to snap are just old Arcus. Hmm. But do you have a better chance in here? Nah, let's just go ahead and do it. Leader's speech, begin. Get out of bed and... Tell us something. Mm. Hey, Ark, thank you very much. Hey, Beat Bees, thanks very much. Show me all the ideal legends for the... Um... Yeah, so we got all the ideal legends, but we got an inspirational speech. Okay, so this is... Uh, what has it done? I think it just gives everybody a kind of a positive mood buff for free. But there's a lot more ways, like powers, things that you can do to make your colony better. Winters gave the speech, but Spoon heard the speech, and he heard the inspiration, and he gets eight days worth of ten. So that is good. Meerkat, I believe, is also now converted. No, he's also old archist. Damn it. Uh, oh, I might not have needed to have that one particular idea, religion, in the speech. Hang on a second. I'm going to go ahead and build more pews, just so that other people can hopefully hear the speeches in the future. <laughs> uh, what a... What a funny happenstance. Now, I'm trying to figure out if this is actually refers to the area where colonists can be seated, or God only knows what it, has, what it means. Yes, the uh, I called the sanctuary the Totino's Fortnite Gaming Room. Ah, uh, this is the Dimodome. Um, yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Create a new colony after seeing a massive fight of Madden guinea pigs. Oh, I was thinking of trying, like, something, uh, something meme an animal, like Meowism, where we just worship cats. I think that would be a pretty fun colony, though. But I, I feel like the meme ness would just get to a certain point, and then it would just get old, though. That's my fear, anyway. I want it to last. Let's make the rest of these hospital beds. Now he'll sleep in there. Do you have a bed? Where is the, where is that guy? Yeah, let's just give him the best bed in here. This is the best bed. Yeah. There we go. Hmm, need some end tables. What other types of things do we need? I'm just trying to make everyone pretty comfortable before I head them out. This is good. We have plenty of steel, simple helmets. I think everyone has taken the ones that are... Uh, that are such strange textures and patterns. But I suppose that's because... Why do we look like the World War I doughboys, though? That's... Our colony just sort of takes on random looks and guises throughout time. Maybe we need to take a more decided one the next time. Hmm. Owner of the Dims... Yes, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadome. Doug Dimadome. Hmm. Yes, we'll just be referencing fairly odd parents as... <laughs> as often as humanly possible. 
Now, um, my other fear was that people would just kind of come down this hallway. So I'm going to put a few... God damn it. Oh yeah, research. That's what I wanted. Never mind. Uh, that's a good thing. Let's put this here. But I've... Uh, maybe these gun turrets are just a liability, though, on second thought. Mm, hard, to, hard to say. We'll get blowback operation, though, because it's going to get us closer to gas os operation, which gives us chain shotguns, which are, are quite badass. So I, I do want those... We'll place a few spike traps out here just in case if somebody decides to raid us from over there. And then after that, I think we're just going to place the last few on this side of the wall. Because folks were destroying stuff the last time I came in. Though they might, uh, if we get attacked by those mechs, they also might blow up these... There's so many conflicting decisions that I have to make throughout this. It's torture in many ways. Absolute torture. But yeah, at least the blast radius from these will hopefully not destroy the granite traps, and that does give us a comprehensive defense on that one. You see how w wild I am about this? Just all of the updates mean that there's so many more things to consider, but it has made the game more realistic on the, uh, on the, uh, on the positive end. Yeah, I'm wondering also, too, about how the uh, the Cthulhu mod... All those ones that originally had cults and what seemed to be ideolog ideologies originally that they kind of expressed through traits or, like, rituals in the mod. How will those update? But I wasn't really a big Cthulhu mod player. I'm not sure I ever even used it, to be honest with you. I did try a lot of fantasy mods. We made RimWorld Skyrim. Or Skyrim World, if you would make it into a portmanteau, as such. So the run's going pretty good. We've got a uh, decent research. We've got most stuff up. But Nug for why are you sleeping over there? Oh, these are accidentally all became prisoner beds. Now these are for colonists. Wake up. There we are. Okay, so I mean, this place is. This place is working now. Why are you upset? Entombed underground. All right, well, we're going to get you out of the darkness. We're going to get you converted to a new religion. But we'll leave our priest here so that we can keep on converting someone. Hmm. Methinks that we need to go on the quest now. Oh, wow, this has all changed. Active. Steel mining set, uh, works at old installation. Ah, uh, this is the one. Okay, the revered relic, the secret terminal, so we have to get the uh, Doug Dimidome mono sword. Uh, Dim mono sword, if we can break into the structure, hack. So we gotta hack some cube computers somewhere. And we gotta attack a village. So we're gonna need a good amount of military strength for these raids. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I used to do a uh, Skyrim world. I, I think I had privated those videos because they were just so old. They're so very old. Worshipful village. Steel mining worksite, so probably we don't want... Okay, so then this is the quest where we need to attack a village for no reason. But this is going to take a while to get to, though, I think. Just because we're going over all of these mountains. Uh, whom should we send? We also might want to get packaged survival meals, too. That would be another thought. Halt the research! Uh, where is it? But we also need meat for that, too. Man, just so many things to consider. It's like real life. It is. It's like real life research screen. Here we go. Packaged survival meal. There we go. Okay, that's going to keep us safer on these journeys. Uh, and then we gotta connect this to all of this. Mm. In fact, you smooth this area first. There we are. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just build over the power lines because we are running out of power as it stands, which is not good. And good. Uh, you deliver there. Okay. Lots to consider, but I think that the strife is over now, my friends. Construction level 18, for God's sake, he is a fast boy. Well, he's not fast at all. He's frail and 77. Probably not a, a boy anymore, either. But he does bore into walls. Okay, now I'm just not making any sense. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go out into the world. Just see how long how long would it take were we to send out a caravan over yonder. 0.8 days, not that bad. I think we could make it there and back with a meal. We're going to need to send some powerful people, though. Uh, we're going to accept that. Let's go ahead and take the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, we said we wanted to keep at home because she's a very uh, like good worker. Fabio and Trenchakem, I think, can stay. Mainly these combatants we want to send out. Rargu is quite good. And we want to get them away from being underground for a little while as well. Uh, Rargu... Cheetah, although they're melee fighters, I think that they'll be fine. We'll send out, uh, what's his name? Uh, Spoon actually is just kind of sitting around at home too. So we'll send him out as well. And maybe Meerkat, just for safety. As for items, we just want them to, oh my god, we have all of these corpses that they could bring with them. Jesus. Uh, yeah, 12 simple meals, 2.2 days of food seems fine. Could we, uh, bring more? I don't want them to bring everything. Okay, let's just do it automatically. That seems fine. A little bit of herbal medicine wouldn't hurt as well. Uh, yep, 2.2 days seems fine. Okay, we're going on a quest. Fantastic quest. Yeah, bring the dead bodies with us. <laughs> Will I try the Arco Nexus ending? Maybe if I do the Arco Arcotech uh, colony. We have the Arcotech look, but we don't actually have the Arcotech quests. That would be the only thing I would be, uh, I suppose, interested in seeing. How does that end anyway? You just get a lot of money and then you like invest in the stock market and then you make a lot of passive income or something like that? I assume that's how the Arcotech ending would work, right? I don't understand. How else does being a... a uh, one of those, one of those people work. Hmm. Man, the music is, it, it is annoying me now though. I gotta turn it down. It's like at a certain, oh god, they're moving so fast. You know what's the greatest trick though to make people move faster? I'm not sure if this works anymore, but I used to put like a thousand rabbits into a convoy and it would just, it would just fly. Light speed. Light speed convoys when you did this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, why was this a terrible colony location? All this impassable terrain here. We have a very hard time trading with other people. The one thing that's kind of bothered me about RimWorld is that it doesn't matter how remote your base is, some raiders will just stop at no ends to come to it. Remember when we were living in the Arctic and people just wouldn't leave us alone? That was a bit upsetting. Okay, fantastic. Who is Penelope? Well, we could get an infestation of four hives if we wanted. But at least the game is still offering us colonists. I'm not sure. Do I want to take these four hives? Not while my main melee fighters are out. So, Otherwise, I would take it just to see how we hold up against an infestation. Everyone here has doubted me. Lots of people have come into the stream um, hemming and hawing about how I'm gonna die to an infestation and I just want to, you know, show them what for. My god, Meerkat is on a daze. Okay, well, he'll just live with that. Gas operation, here we go. Finally, some decent weapon crafting. Caravan has arrived at the Worshipful Village. With everyone asleep in the caravan, I didn't give them any, uh, whatever it was. Now are these, what is our quest even here? We need to, what do we need to do with these people? Well, let's wait until Meerkat comes off of his days. And let's also just give them some sleeping spots as well. Uh, yes, yeah, sleep over there because this will give you a marginal level of comfort. Nope, don't do that. Can you bring him to his bed? No, you can't. All right, then he'll just have to sleep on the ground and have a catharsis. Hmm. Are these the default quests? They seem more... We've been accepting a lot of quests that we haven't been doing. Yeah. In ancient installation. So... Hmm. Ah, okay. Tribes people from Leela are attacking our colonists. Are these the Leela? Why would they attack? We didn't even spend 10 hours here, though. All right, uh... 
You've learned the uh, terminal. The terminal is surrounded by a tribal village, and the locals venerate it. They aren't part of any major faction. They're willing to let on the pretense of war. Oh. We were supposed to come in quietly because they worship a computer. These people are like my parents. Um, hang on a second. We're going to have to do some hacking. But are they attacking us right now, though? Okay, this is sort of getting to be more one of those Indiana Jones-type quests, though. Hmm. Let's just find out. Are these people going to come in and attack us? Is someone allowed at the neckbeard colony if they don't have a neckbeard? They can always uh, shave their hair into the pattern of a neckbeard. That is allowed. Now, if I just walk over here with my gun which is more advanced than their bows. Okay, so they aren't going to do that. Okay, try, go ahead. See if you can hack into the ancient terminal. I think Cheetah and Rargu will be fine here, so I'm just going to go ahead and draft them. Uh, Cheetah, are you about to break Rar... Because colonists always break at the worst times. Recreation deprived. There's a uh, thing somewhere that you could play with. Hmm... Are they going to attack me if they see me? Or do I need to do it while they're asleep? Oh, God, okay. Hang on a second. Well, fortunately, my colonists are way stronger in melee than anybody. Uh, you go in... Uh, actually, hang on a second. No, don't even do this. Terminal hack. We've collected the information. Let's just go into this room. I'm very good at RimWorld, guys. Very... I uh, Actually, just kind of decent at it. But don't question it, okay? All right, uh, hang on a second send you over there yeah look we just beat them up when they come into the door this is the greatest way oh this is perfect hang on a second you go in like that you go in like that no uh, friendly fire we get a lot of food we might even live here for all I care look we're gonna use this pemmican and when we travel too oh, I'm great at this game hey Madero thanks very much for the prime as well as maple tea biscuit thanks very much Jake <laughs> farm from state. <laughs> Thanks very much for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. Oh my god, look there. God, would you just go into a manic depression when somebody is shooting you with a bow and missing a lot? This person's terrible. We're, we might just live these guys over here for a while. She has shooting zero. What a slob. Hang on a second. Let's go ahead and just claim all of these. We're being raided by the Leela people at their own base. Oh, now this I didn't plan on. Eat some food. Eat some food. Um, how do we just claim this entire place? Meerkat, you are garbage. Is anyone going to die? You've had all of your toes shot off. That was kind of unfortunate. Great. Okay, she got shot in the head. I swear to God, though, these people with their uh, plasteel spears will be fine. Now, look at these tribals, idiots. However, we don't want them all to convert them at once. Uh, Cheetah, Rargu need to get together. We need at least three ganged up. Let's just run them into a different room. Uh, you go over there. When you finish eating, are you almost done eating? Nah, you're not going to be able to make it out in time. Okay, I'm just going to hide you over here. Cheetah, you may be dead. I didn't plan on the mental break or five more colonists coming to join this fight. Uh, how many do I want him to get ganged up on by? I might have to run him into the doorway at one second. Uh, you know, don't even finish eating. If you break in the middle of the fight, you're just dead. We can reform and leave. No, we can't. We just killed their entire tribe. They probably won't be very happy with that. If Meerkat would just get off his ass. This is the one thing that doesn't make sense to me about Rimworld. It's like when there's people who want to take your food that come inside. Like you'd, you'd better be ready for a fight. Hey, Babic Fifu. Thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Then the tile behind the door. They, can, they actually can... They can surround me. They can come in diagonally into the room, I believe. Or at least I've seen insects do it. Oh, I stand corrected. Maybe colonists respect personal space. All right, then. Okay. I'm going to give you what you want. 
I'm gonna give you what you want. Hang on a second. Let's run in with two more colonists. Spoon, you get back here. Uh, Rargu, give him a second. Wow! Because when you do this with insects, they will surround you. That is great. <laughs> Thanks very much, Pepe. Mm. If we send Rargu over here to deal with Baiba, that's going to take away a lot of the problem. But Cheetah is so good in melee combat that I'm very confident he just might lose something in this fight, though. Uh, yep. Okay, there he goes down. Spoon, you get over here behind these sandbags. And it seems as though they have knocked you down. Good. Good. Don't take down all of my col- Good. 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 Di damn it. Are you kidding me? Two really high-level melee fighters downed in this fight? Okay, that was far closer than expected. Uh, rescue. Yeah, is Cheetah gonna be okay? Death in 10 hours. Death in 15 hours. Okay, then rescue Cheetah first. Do not break Spoon. Spoon, you are a hell of a guy. Has he... He still has his medical, uh, degree, so we can use him for that. My god, these tribals, though. What was that? Ten tribals? That's why I love tribals so much. Meerkat has just contributed so much to this fight. But we actually did make out with more riches than I thought we would. Uh, we will take all of their bodies and use them for science. There we go. Thanks to these great plasteel spears. Being on fire. Yeah, like, would he be upset if he were on fire? That was... Uh, whoops. Wait a second. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta claim these. Uh, let's claim all of these. N, 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 then H, H. Uh, we have two colonists to tend to. Actually, three, because Spoon got hurt, too. So, I'm gonna rescue you again. Whoops, did that wrong. Uh, are you gonna live? Are you gonna live? I uh, think you're gonna live death in 14 hours, so one hour has passed. This was told to me in the comments the other day. Uh, apparently medicine and herbal medicine improve the speed of tending. We're getting raided! Okay, now we might actually be dead. But this is the gr world's greatest troll. How many raids was it? Uh, am I even... Can I even... They might kidnap Rargu. This is a troll. This is a bit of a troll. If only Meerkat would be less of a slob, for God's sake. Uh, hang on. No, don't feed him. Can you tend? Man, rip. Very sad. Very not good. Tend to Cheetah. I don't even think I want you leaving this place for medicine. I think I would just want to watch them stand there and... Uh, tend to him. Yeah, good. Okay. Why don't I just kill them? I don't know why, because heavy SMGs apparently aren't as good in this game. It's, uh, actually quite depressing. Yeah. Like, one would think that if a gentleman came outside with a heavy SMG, that he would be able to stand a chance against some bowmen. But it's just not always the case. It's not always the case. First off, we'll tend him. I want to see if we get Rargu in here. I just want to avoid them getting kidnapped. And then hopefully Meerkat will come out of this daze in a couple of seconds, because for some reason he's just being a slob over there. Rimworld quests are not my strong suit, as you can tell. <laughs> I thought sending four colonists over would be fine, but then one of them snapped, and then very quickly... They actually did go down in combat more quickly than I expected. Um, he will not be okay. Should we send out a second party? Oh, more will come every two hours? Really? This is a thing in the game? Ah, damn. I did not expect that. Damn, we really got into a very bad situation here. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to get out of here. We just gotta tend to Cheetah. And then I think Rargu, and then try to get out. We're gonna... S we're gonna try to solid snake this. We gotta get out of here, man. 12 hours, he's already, it's already been three hours. More of them will be coming. Jesus Christ. Well, the good news is that if Meerkat... Yep. 
Generated by even more of them. Okay, this is a little bit overpowered, I think. Yeah, Meerkat's probably gonna get his butt kicked. Yep. Are you... Jesus. Alright, we're sending out everybody. This is very ill-advised of me, but I'm like, uh... If I, if I had done it, I think we would have lived. I might need to go back in here and just save whoever's not kidnapped. This is... This bad. This bad. This this event is way overpowered, I think. But at least now we know, because apparently there's just infinite tribal people, because he's just like, yep, getting shot with a bow. That's fine. Meerkat is dead. Oof. This is a really bad quest. Never go in to try to separate tribal people from their shiny objects. Might have to just run out. Meerkat's dead. Rargu. Ah, Cheetah and the Plasteel Spears, too. But if I could just keep them in a room. And maybe get my other colonists here. Will they actually attack their own base? Ah, it'd be a shame to lose all of these colonists. Are they even going to kidnap people, though? Will they kidnap people? They could just open up the doors, apparently. Okay, save yourself, save thyself. They've, they've kidnapped people that, uh, from their own home. Okay, I, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. They are kidnapping people from their own home, setting their own home on fire. They have taken, at least I won't even have the option of taking Rargu now. This is very upsetting. I actually think that this event is pretty unbalanced. Um, tend to yourself. Don't even use medicine. This this is very bad. Now they're stealing stuff from their own home. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. With it. Well, we gotta have Spoon tend to himself. I think we just lost Rargu and uh, and Meerkat. That sucks. That really does suck. Oh, man, now he's going to get meleeed with a knife, too. We might not even get Spoon. Can you shoot her? Ah, oh, damn. Rargu got kidnapped. Not good. Not good. Okay, this lady is trying to mine through a wall, despite the, the fact that she has a knife. Oh, we're getting raided again. Okay, just get out of here. Just get out of here. We didn't even get our plasteel. We lost our two plasteel spears. This is the worst quest ever. I should have read that fine print more, but I didn't see that they would just keep attacking every two hours. Yeah, right? Hang on a second. Uh, just gotta get Spoon out of here, for God's sake. Can I get Cheetah with me? If we just tell him to leave with just Cheetah? Uh, this is the worst event. Hang on a second. Where is my other caravan at? Man, I really should have just brought all my colonists. The next time I do one of these things, I'm going to bring all my colonists. Yeah, we're going to have to bring everybody back. This one's just named Humps. I think we'll survive. Uh, I just feel like I got skunked by a bad event. That's pretty unbalanced right now. Oh, well, we can't go back. Uh, such is life. A uh, world... See if we could form caravan. There's still some enemies in the area, so I can't even reform the caravan. That is kind of bullshit, though, because how am I supposed to defend from attacks every single two hours? Unless if, can I walk him to the map edge? I mean, even if I lose all of my colonists, I feel like it'll be worth it for the learning, just that this is a total... This was a huge troll. Wow. Spoon can... Okay, we could walk Spoon off. Cheetah also is walking again. <laughs> okay, well, they took his Plasteel Spear, so that was pretty terrible. Um, Wow, worst day ever. Neckbeardia, worst day ever. Uh, hang on a second. Pick up those simple meals. I don't want you to die. Jesus Christ. And there's even more coming. Ah, grab a weapon. I hate this event so much. 
Yeah, is he gonna pass out again? <laughs> ah, Jesus. I, I, I think this one's gonna need a fix too. <laughs> this, this seems like a real, like a real troll. I mean, it's challenging. I'll give them that. There we go. Quest completed. Get the hell out of there. Uh, they are in a caravan together, so let's get them to Mount Dew. And let's just tell our other caravan to go straight back there. Ooh, that was bad. Lost two colonists. Next time we get any kind of raid, uh, tribal village uh, computer worship type of quest, I'm sending the whole colony just so that they can all kind of care for each other. Did not count on what's-his-face just being a total idiot. And I think that's why people will rage quit this game. Oh, that was frustrating. Only two, though. Yeah, it could have been much worse. That's true. Are these two going to make it back? Do they have enough food? Yeah, I'm just upset that it was my good melee colonist. Cheetah, though, I think was our very best melee colonist. So I'm glad that he did make it out. And the Plasteel Spear can always be replaced. Um, I mean, we've already got another one in the works. So. Just kind of sad. Gonna take me some time to get... I'm, I'm legitimately sad. <laughs> I am. I'm sad. Let's make more. Uh, well, on the other hand, too, the game will probably send me more colonists. Do we still have uh, another one available with the... And we are one of the way... Um, one quest information away from the relic. This gets us the mono sword. Uh, I don't actually have any saves, so I can't reload any of them. Nope. Yeah, I'm just screwed. <laughs> But I, I like that uh, I like that way of playing the game. That way you have to live with your mistakes. Mm, cotton, hops. We'll plant some... Sp Actually, psychoid. I, I'm okay with psychite tea. And there is one colonist who needs psychite tea to function. Uh, heal root. We'll do a little bit more of that. Tinctory. What was this really good for? Yeah, all right. Let's just do that and... Yeah, so like I said, kind of a buzzkill. Not great, but eh, we'll get over it. We'll keep improving. And maybe we'll find even better colonists. Rargu was uh, of old Archism. Maybe we'll find somebody who's already converted to our ideal religion. And it looks like we can also convert somebody else. So is Nugfer. Nugfer is the... Uh, and Hippopotamus also, too, is an old Archist. All right, let's uh, try to convert Hippopotamus then. Tantrum on Nugfer. Though she's been fairly stable. Maybe I'll ha uh, convert. No, he's on a mood break, so we'll just save him for later. Caravan arrived at Mount Dew. Okay, good, they are back. Thank God. Was Cheetah yet? Cheetah was the one who was just a fantastic survivor, really. Gave up Cheetah. Okay, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Please don't do this to me every time. Uh, okay, I will take a 60% chance. Uh, oops. That didn't work. All right, bring all the king's horses in. Oh, well, he wasn't very... <laughs> he wasn't very long for this world anyway. All right, uh, bring him back. Kind of look... Kind of feeling and looking like an amateur again, but such is the way of life with a new expansion. A lot of these quests just aren't really worth it. That's my my other complaint about, uh, and I think they've made the questing a little bit better, but it seemed to me that for so long it wasn't really worth it to leave your house. Like, you're always just better off kind of staying at home, which I don't love about the game. I hope they do something about boredom. Why are we getting some solitary relaxation, social relaxation, cerebral play? Okay, so we need solitary relaxation and social interaction for our recreation types. Hmm, maybe a poker table would improve this somehow. Could we just put it over here so that it's overlapping with the other one? Otherwise, we may have to expand this room. Well, regardless, we'll do it. Yeah, I suppose make it out of steel. We have just an ass load of steel. That's fine. Ooh, what difficulty did I pick? We are on blood and dust. 
uh, because I just I think the game is not very much fun anymore when you do it on uh, losing is fun okay but we got back cheetah cheetahs back in there good and I think we can now solidly switch them over to doing um, oh what is it uh, herbal medicine all the time now that we have a way of growing it which is good because that was much desired uh, and we will set that up and now we can just take everybody let's say medicine is all herbal medicine herbal medicine and we can tell them all to carry herbal medicine on them too mm, defoliator oh that's not actually that bad we aren't really using any uh, fo foliage on the outside might even be a good thing let's tell everybody to carry two on them and we'll also give everybody just a a number four doctor priority, just so that they can all be ready for it. Now this I'm not particularly worried about. Oh, look, it's all the way over on the map edge. This might actually be a good thing and other people might wake these things up. We've got lancers, those aren't so scary. Yeah, that should be fine. Well, besides, we aren't even using it. Aren't even using it. Hmm. This is my only real complaint about RimWorld's difficulty at times, is that sometimes it just makes it seem like it makes things take longer, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't really seem like we had a meaningful climax to that fight. It just kind of dragged on. But, eh, when you know more about the game. Keep in mind that thing eventually will kill my mushrooms. If it gets far out enough, but that's going to take quite some time uh, for the defoliator ship to reach us. I've been told that it has a max radius. It seems to be increasing rather quickly right now. But when it gets so far out in the world, it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Is it clearing away the snow? Oh, that was from the fire. I was, worry I was wondering about that. It has only a max radius of 100. So then, actually, our mushrooms should be safe. Yeah, 100 radius. That'll never get to us. We can just kind of leave that there as a terrain feature, and hopefully somebody else will wake it up. I love it when raids fight each other anyway. Um, not that it's really a major threat. We could use it for resources or whatever we need. Incompetent cook. Who is, who is cooking incompetently? Oh, well, you're about to get good at cooking, so it's fine. Yeah, just keep on making stuff. Hmm bourbon i i do worry about bourbon because of this chemical starvation that's going to make him pretty much permanently upset everyone's upset that meerkat died ah that's gonna take like 20 days for them to lose that maybe we could use console fabio has this or a council council ability that might help somehow hmm Yeah, I'm a little depressed right now. I'm a little bit depressed. So many empty beds. It's just not the same without you. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, our colony is starting to look a little bit more organized. So the thing that I like is that when you get later on in the game, since your base is already constructed, even if you lose a colonist, they'll send you a couple more because there is that... Uh, desired colonist amount and randy or whoever we've got cassandra really does want to send me more colonists to suffer death and die hmm. let's try and expanding this zone. let's just say that this is our preferred area for weapons uh in fact do we want it there yeah we'll go preferred for weapons there i'm just trying to make everything a little bit more visually stimulating now there we are. Okay, and then we're going to say clear all and just say medicine. Medicine. There we go. Let's just do herbal medicine here. I know it'll deteriorate, but it just takes so long to deteriorate. Uh, we'll say critical priority for medicine. That way they bring it over there. And do they actually have any? They don't have any because we're stupid and we lost a lot of it. But we'll somehow get by. Heal root. There we go. A little bit more heal root. Major break risk, low medicine, hunter lacks range weapon. We're just going to take Fabio off of that task. And I'm going to see if I can get some of these effects. No more hunting for you. Need warm clothes. Mm. 
We've got that. Uh, steel storage. I'm just thinking about other research storage. Is there a, a festival we could start to get a good mood boost? Good question. Uh, we did have a leader speech a couple of days ago, but we need to wait until 30 days or a half a year from now for the uh, for the Jubilee of Stones. So unfortunately, that has been delayed, uh, which is quite sad. Uh, other thing that's bad is that my haulers all died. Cheetah also, too, is... Uh, not doing too great. But maybe we'll just accept the next quest that we get. Available, just Royal Ascent. Active. Now, what other things did we have active? Maybe one of them will actually be decent. What was that one that we had done? The Secret Terminal. So let's just read on this one. Learned of it. Uh, the locals venerate it. Uh, they're willing to let you visit on it, but they will attack when I touch it. Yeah, it didn't really say anything about... Uh, it did say that they would call reinforcements. If we spend over 10 hours in the village or build anything... Oh, so a sleeping spot counted as something that was invasive on their territory, so I should never have even put down sleeping spots. Okay. And then reinforcements are just god-awful because they send in more people every two hours. So if anyone gets injured, they're kind of stuck there. So what we should have done the next time would have just been get in, hack the terminal, and then leave immediately. That would have been way better. But alas... I assume that there's a lot more quests like that that I'm just going to need to be more mindful of. But to me, reinforcements means one extra raid, maybe. Not infinite people every two hours. Alright, I'm done, I'm done complaining now. <laughs> How is the Reddit colony going? It's, uh, it's happening, it's happening. We just had a, a quite a sad thing happen, but... Alright. Let's take off all of the menial labor tasks. A little bit more smoothing of the floor. But like I said, you know, once you fix up all of that other crap, then uh, it becomes much easier to run the colony because you can just kind of add in new colonists. It doesn't really necessitate this whole new, uh, like, creation of new bedrooms or anything. You're just replacing things that you've lost. Yeah, replacing things that you've lost. Got a mad hair. Uh, this will avoid those spike traps, so we'll want to be very careful with this thing. Fabio, you are... Uh, oh, yeah, you dropped your weapon somewhere, didn't you? Hang on a second. Let's install this in here to make this room yet even more impressive. And then we're going to give you this gun. There we go. Shoot the rabbit. It's wabbit season. Get over here. Fight me. Fight me. Ah, great, it did. See, that one ran into a trap. We had the other animals not run into trap. Maybe it's when you have a colonist there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, how dare you sleep on the ground in our territory? Yeah, those people were crazy. But very powerful tribals. I mean, for how powerful they were, I'm surprised that they worshipped a computer. That just seems a bit excessive. Uh, hang on a second, we gotta get you to... Uh, who is who is responsible for this? Someone is not doing their job crafting uh, bourbon. Y you know, bourbon, you can do some crafting too. That's fine by me. Mm, cheetah. Do we have enough of this? We do have a lot of chem fuel. Oh, we just haven't hauled it over. Let's go ahead and bring this over. We just don't want to run out of power. That would be bad. I suppose that for the last couple of colonists, all that we're really looking for now are joggers. Was one of those guys the jogger, though? Psychopath pretty. This guy was great. Super immune pessimist. And you were decent with melee, so we'll just give you the next Plasteel Spear. <laughs> I know we didn't trust you this before, but the other guy that we did trust it with died, so we're giving this responsibility to you. How does it feel? How does it feel? Uh, whoops. You... Hmm. Damn it. I interrupted that uh, important task. I am quite sad. There we are. Okay, good. The crafting is being done. The other one I should get back on is work tab, just because there's so many other specific things I'd like to do. I learned to make it work in the Arctic colony. That was probably my most well-managed colony. Ironically, despite the fact that it was in the Arctic... 
Yeah, doing a, a better chem fuel storage by the generator. That would be good too. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I have a lot of things that are kind of explosion proof over here. So let's go ahead and just say, bring it over here. We might even put the biofuel refining over there, but our farms are on that side. It's not a perfect colony, but it it works. Chem fuel. There we are. Let's do chem fuel. We'll say that this is important priority over here, and we'll just uh, copy settings and paste them over. Really? Oh, there we are. Good. Okay. Copy and paste for stockpiles. No, oh, we don't care about that. I think that these things are all connected now. That always jumps out or uh, sneaks up on me. Good, they are connected to the grid. And we'll also just kind of connect them even more to the grid. And I know that this is going to... Uh, eh. eh, it's fine, actually. Sometimes I like to put in double power cable connection just to make it a little bit more robust. Need a research project. That's fine. They don't really need a research project, per se. Good, that is tended. Our medicine is popping up out of the ground. I think we're fine now. Cheetah is just vomiting all over the floor. You clean your own vomit because you're just very depressed from all of that being there. Now, the thing that I learned was that if you don't use medicine, your wounds don't heal as quickly as they would have. So this was enlightening to me. However... Well, also, too, using medicine makes your wounds get tended faster, but usually they need to go ahead and fetch some medicine in the first place, too. So there's all kinds of trade-offs to consider whether you're using medicine or not medicine and what you're doing. Hey, yeah, Sir Vell, how are you? Are the comfort needs of the skeletons increasing on those wooden... Stills? Oh, yes. No, our, skeleton, our corpse room with the skeletons is very comfortable. I almost wish that I hadn't sent out that caravan because... I would have liked to have fought an infestation in here with those plasteel spears. It would have been so nice to win and show you how good I am. Uh, oh, Meerkat was actually the author of this. This turns out that is quite a sad moment. We could keep mining through the mountain to see if we find any more plasteel because that was quite a lot of plasteel that we just lost right there. I'm almost as sad about losing the plasteel did we get back Spoon? Spoon is back. That's good. He was a fantastic miner. So, yeah, maybe we'll give him some other tasks to do in a few minutes. Cheetah is just throwing... Just walking around everywhere and throwing up on everything, really. Mm, let's go ahead and build some more furniture over here. We'll say uh, wooden dining chairs. That seems fine. Uh, I don't want to interrupt the other stuff going on. Uh, this thing is still up there, killing all of the plants. Let's go back over to orders L, uh, or B, rather, for cut down. There it is. Good. Good job. Alright, like I said, you know, I'm not as depressed from losing all of the colonists, because we can replace them. We just need to wait for an event. Now, if I were to send out more people, what is this next quest about? I want to make sure I don't get snuck up on in some way like I did with the last one. Am I based on a mountain tile? Uh, we're, yeah, we're on a mountainous terrain. Hmm. Uh, ancient complex nearby. It's said to contain information about the dim monastery. Now, we need to read much more closely into this task. Uh, text, because it's just, this was garbage. You've learned, uh, if I break into the structure and hack the computers inside, I can like, watch out. There may be all manner of dangers inside, and other enemies may also be... Okay, so this seems to be one of those Indiana Jones-style quests. With that in mind, we might be better off sending, like, everybody except for one colonist the next time. For all my luck, I'm just gonna get attacked by a massive raid while it's happening, but nonetheless, we'll give it a shot anyway. Let's have Winters see if these traders have anything. Hmm, hello. Give me some things. Uh, Glitter World Medicine would be good. Yeah, I'll take some of that, just in case. Always good to have some of that stuff lying around. Uh, what do we have to offer? Uh, we do have a lot of gold that we aren't really doing anything with right now. Ooh, television. Huh, hang on a second, wait a minute. Television, 
might be better than this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a television. Okay, great. Mm, triple rocket launcher. Though the Doomsday rocket launcher is also quite nice and exciting. It always goes wrong for me. But at the same time, like, this is... Yeah. You know, I'm gonna buy it just because... Because <laughs> why not, right? I mean, this is... I'm supposed to. This is a stream. What else are we gonna... What else are we gonna do anyway? What did you come here to see? Me be safe? No, of course I'm buying the Doomsday rocket launcher. Can I... In fact, can I sell all of the gold? I'm not really planning on going much further into this. I would like a TV and a Doomsday rocket launcher. I'll even sell you this advanced... Co uh, I'll keep the advanced component. Nah, I don't need it. It's not as much fun. We probably won't be even getting that far in the game. I'll even sell you some of my components. Yes, absolutely. Let's do this. TV and a Doomsday Rocket Launcher. I advise you strongly to not do either of these things, but I'm doing this for fun, so do it anyway. Um, this room is extremely, extremely limited in size. Uh, hmm. I will remove this speaker and put it back over here. And then we will bring the television inside. Who are we going to have with the... You know, Bourbon, you seem like a suspicious enough man for me to give the rocket launcher to. Yep. Let's just give the shady, unethical doctor the doomsday rocket launcher. That seems like a great idea. Mm. Trench a chem. Mm. Using uranium to make weapons? Oh, yeah. It's, it can be a great idea. Plasteel and uranium. I'm pretty sure... Uh, at least I don't think that there is any risk of them getting cancer from having contact with uh, uranium. But there is cancer in RimWorld. Uh, colonists can get it when they get old enough and, you know, other stuff like that. I hadn't thought about that. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm... Am I wrong? Blunt uranium, I've heard, yeah. Like, uh, like a uranium mace. Hmm. Okay, good, good. This is in place. Now let's install the television in here. Good. Televisions, uranium, and all other sorts of, uh, garbage that we've been looking for. Now, do we have... We didn't account for all of our plasteel in the last stockpile. Let's give them a little bit of time to catch up with all of the rocket launchers and the TV and everything. I think they're happy now. Ritual opportunities soon. Party of Arkism. Let's just try to get everyone away from Arkism. Uh, Hippopotamus, were you the... Uh, you are quite sure of your Arkism, though. <laughs> you and your Arkism. Who is close to being converted? You are a neckbeard mole person. You subscribe to Ethical Ethics. Mm, but I think I want Arkism to go down. So let's go ahead and say... And you are literally the last Pearson, uh, person subscribing to old Arkism. But Nugfur also does... We're going to try to convert Nugfur because he's... He's one of us. 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 Come on, everybody. Everybody say it. Put him down there. Say mean things about him to feel bad about... To make him feel bad about himself. And then he will convert, of course. Ah, social... Masterful conversion ritual. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fabio's social... Fabio even improved. Everyone participating in the rude... Wow, I didn't realize that it was that over... Okay, I've heard that this was given a buff for colonists who were on their own. Um, uh, so, how did that actually do? How was he uh, feeling now? Okay, that we took about 40% of him away from that. So, let's go ahead and try to convert him again. Hmm... Uh, wait a second. Oh, he immediately became one of the Neckbeard Mole people from that ritual. My god, that is pretty good. Okay, I take back all of the mean things I said. Ah, uh, fantastic. One of us. Yeah, we gave him all of our Reddit karma. <laughs> oh, god. Reddit jokes never get old. Until Reddit eventually. What will what will supersede Reddit in the life of the internet? I'm gonna go ahead and try to just deconstruct any 
poor quality beds now because I don't think there's much reason to have poor quality beds anywhere in our colony. Excellent quality, good quality, good quality, poor quality. We're going to go ahead and destroy your bed. Excellent, good. Okay, then let's reinstall some of these excellent quality ones over there too. I just like people to be sleeping in decent beds. Uh, we'll put that like there. Decent. All right. Uh, as for the prisoners, yeah, we want them to feel okay, but I just don't think we're going to be taking in so many more prisoners now at this point. Uh, we probably won't have quite this many people. It's fine. It's fine. We'll live with it. Hmm. Though, I mean, as far as, like, overall base architecture goes, I'm pretty happy with what happened with this place. We just want to make sure that the uh, hydroponics basins don't keep dying out. That can interrupt your plant flow. I pride myself on good plant flow in RimWorld, and I don't intend on changing that reputation. I think we'll also go ahead and just mine out the rest of this. One thing that I've been thinking quietly to myself non-invasively, is that I think we'd be better off if we put the weapons in here. That way, if someone ever needs to equip for combat, they can just quickly run into this room and equip us something. There we are. Food binge on Hippopotamus. We knew that this was her one drawback trait, but we're living with it. That's fine. We're dealing with it. It's in our... It's in plain sight. It's in plain sight. And we have... My goodness, we have quite a lot of grenades. Trenjakem, you can be... Ah, uh, you're a brawler, though. Alright, you just go ahead and equip a spear. Cheetah, you're decent at... Melee combat. Well, you're good at everything. We may want him as... Uh, just because I'm, now I'm thinking, like, do I really want this guy in the line of fire all the time? Ah, uh, it's bio-coded. What do I want him to do? He's really good in melee combat, though. I think I'll give him the spear for now. Eventually, we might move him over to ranged. And as for you, you've already got a spear, so you're fine. Good, good. Very good, very good. Hey, Command and Pickle. Father, we winning? Uh, I would say, uh, you know, ever since we came back from that horrible event, yeah, we're, we're doing a little bit better now. Thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, I never played Project Zomboid, but I binged Zero to Hero when I found you know, on YouTube. Hey, thanks very much. Appreciate you coming out. Thomas needs treatment. What do you have? Muscle parasites. You're fine. Okay, but now we have a decent amount of health care. We have good. We have good Obamacare in the colony. Ambiguous amphibian, ambiguous amphibian. You got two yill, two yill to do next <laughs> one yill. Six months a two yill. I raise your I raise your yill meme with. What, what meme did I send? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was it? The uh, I Am Confusion. Thank you very much, Vic Sauce. I appreciate the $4.20. Mm -hmm. hmm, defoliator. That's fine. Does it actually say how far out that defoliator is now? Expand radius 5 per day, foliage kill radius 33.8. So then this will get about 3 times larger. So 1, 2, or sorry, 2 times larger. It's like one third. So this will come right up about to our walls. That might not be such a bad thing. That might clear out the map, prevent the spread of forest fires. You know that bear who keeps complaining about forest fires? We won't have him if we don't have a forest anymore. So that's the good news. Uh, we'll keep on building in here. Just kind of seal up that gap. We don't want so many cracks in our wall. Yeah, that's good. That dissuades people from coming in over there. And then unfortunately, there isn't a way to unclaim territory in RimWorld. But were there, then I would, I would do that. I would most certainly do that. Animal disease flu. Now this dog has been a bit of a liability since the beginning. I don't like having animals in my colony, if you can't tell. The only thing I accept is cows. Cows are fine. Take as many cows as we need. I think we also need to reinstall that there. Harvest botch. But why are some of you guys doing the harvesting? Mm, I think... I think we need you on crafting more than we need you on other stuff. Building marble wall. Okay, that's fine. 
We want to start to take winters off of, like, far away tasks. And we're eventually going to need to replace him as well. Just because he's getting so, so much older. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And is there anything else that can kind of automate stuff for us, too? It sometimes seems as if research just makes your life more difficult, unfortunately. Prosthetics? Uh, yeah. I mean, eventually we're gonna need bionic limbs. That could make us faster, come to think of it. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Gas operation, chain shotguns. Yeah, you know, if we could get chain shotguns researched, I would... I would be willing to use those, only because those can be another great way to deal with infestations. You pile up people with chain shotguns behind a few melee colonists in good armor, and there, you're done. Boom. Cougar hunting cheetah. I welcome it. Cheetah is actually a tank, though, so I'm not too particularly worried about him. We're gonna go send out Hippopotamus, though, because she has a... She has, so far, had 360 no-scope aim. Uh, hang on a minute. Why aren't you shooting it? There we go. Okay, get out there and fight. Fight that cougar. Play for your freedom. There we are. Mm, health. Death in four hours. Ah, all right. Uh, cougar is on the menu. Let's go ahead and hunt that. Too bad. Just finish it off. Good, good. All right. No more cougars. And let's go ahead and we're going to move our weapon storage pile over to here. Like I said before, we'll just kind of expand this over to this side. And then shrink that zone over to here. And then we'll say weapons belong. Stockpile zone. Let's keep that area clean. And then we'll say storage just... Weapons. Uh, whoops. They are all weapons. There we go. And we'll say that that's important, and then we'll just delete that other stockpile zone. Okay, now our storage makes some semblance of sense again. We're also going to just start to create stockpile zones so that we can see what we have. Uh, I'm going to say that this one is, we'll call it preferred for steel because you want to see how much steel you have at any given time. We'll clear all and just say steel. And we can do anything else. Let's install this in here so that room is even more impressive. And then we'll start to put our textiles in this room. So we'll say mine out the rest of this. And then we'll do zone stockpile zone. And we'll just put clear all and we'll just say raw resources or is it under manufactured textiles yes here we go we'll make this our preferred place for that hmm what do i think of mods that make years longer always baffled me how 60 days is a year yeah it's a gameplay convenience i've never actually tried anyone that changed the length of the year i don't mind the length of the years in rimworld um never really thought of it Organized storage. Yeah, I just it's something pleases me about seeing all of the same resource in the same place. It's bothered me always to just see crap lying around in our stockpile zones, you know? I'm against that. No, let's let's fix that. Expand this zone, good. We might even reinstall this table here. Yeah, they don't really spend that much time hauling those. Now I start to think over these little micro decisions just because they're spending a lot of time, you know, on crafting types of tasks. That's an important thing to just fix up. Uh, what is this? This is just our steel now. They're starting to move everything out of there. And since they're spending so much time in the actual storage room itself, we will smooth the floors now, just because this is always a highway for them. In moving about the base, you are cleaning. And I think we're back to where we kind of started again originally. Bills, we've got the spears. Let's just reduce that again. Uh, make sure that this is... I'm doing a lot of boring things right now, but they're, they are important. And then we'll just start mining our way into the mountain again. I want to uncover some new plasteel. I really hope that I don't find any gaps in this mountain. Because then we'd have to deal with more stuff, but we do have to make our way deeper in. Because 
well, we need more resources, and that's kind of what we depended on with this colony, uh, in order to grow and obtain wealth. King under the mountain. <laughs> yeah, we should have named one of them Thor and Oakenshield. <laughs> that would have been great. Hmm. What is the end goal? Uh, like world conquering? I never really understood why people did world conquering playthroughs, unless if they were using the Empire mod. Or a surprising number of people will often comment, like, you should con conquer the world. I'm like, we'll be here for a hundred days if I do that. <laughs> nah, I just, I don't really see the point of it. It's, it's kind of like the story had value in whatever you gave it to, and you hope that you don't get in the way of too many, like, technical glitches or anything that distracts you from... Like, moments like these, you know? I remember back when I was in the Arctic, and I had two colonists get into a fight, and one of them had all of these crazy evil traits. And this was orange, and then he he bit out another colonist's eye, which was grotesque. And although it was a bad thing for the colony, I feel like that RimWorld is kind of about moments like that, because it what's, uh, it's what gives the game so much of its glorious characterization. Um, not that they always need to be so horrible and kind of vomit inducing but I feel like that's where this game just naturally excels uh, let's see research screen good we've got the chain shotgun researched uh, precision rifling we might want some sniper rifles so I'm gonna go ahead and start to research the the world's best technology microelectronics hmm I watched some streamer conquer the world. It took months and consider. Yeah, well, conquering the world just after a while becomes like. It just becomes kind of a liability. I don't mind a nomadic playthrough. Uh, really, the main thing that I would like to do is just figure out how to do colonies that can be more satisfying in like one session. Often that means doing one overpowered colonist. I was trying to get better at the game this time, so I took colonists who were slightly weaker, but. Uh, I think this will be probably my only, like, um, try-hard long play colony for a while. Because then I do kind of want to get back to doing things that are more gratifying in one session. That's my favorite type of playthrough, where I can get one full session in of, like, three to five hours max. Um, and then I'm just done with a full playthrough. Hmm. Yeah. Generally, stories need conclusions. That's that's the one thing, is that oftentimes the story feels like it never ends. But that's okay, too. That's one reason why people like this game so much. Let's go ahead and haul those things into there. I've tried to avoid getting so many... St Let's also, too, just for the sake of efficiency here, we'll mine out this. And then we're going to reduce the size of this stockpile zone just so that they aren't walking over stones in here. We'll shrink it here and, like here. That way they don't walk over those. And then we'll give them a little entryway into there. Just getting everything set up right into the stockpile zone is important. Now what is this? This is a tainted park. Uh, are we setting this up for tainted clothing? Textiles. Hmm, what is actually allowed in here? Chem fuel. Okay, so then this has just been misplaced in here. But do we actually have anywhere for tainted clothing? This is our tainted clothing zone, right? Oh, I didn't actually allow anything in here. Whoops, that was a mistake. This should have been uh, for apparel. Yeah, but um, not most apparel. Not clean apparel. This is only our tainted apparel. Uh, apparel. Apparel. There we are. And uh, no smeltable apparel. There we are. Quest of Bellows, secret complex mission. That sounds like it's up our alley. Okay, here we go. Another one of these types of quests. Uh, Nitao, or Nitao, high stellar of the Imperium of Mosky, has discovered an ancient complex a long distance away. He believes it contains information. This is what we've been looking for. Can't spare people looking for it. Seven colonists. Why so many? We have eight. Complex contains unknown threats also sought by Nitao's enemies, the Javelins. Javelins are, I believe, uh, a tribe, right? They'll send a shuttle to pick up your colonists, bring them to... Ah, this is very nice of them. Ah, they will be fed and tended and root. Okay, so once we land, we have hack all the terminals in the complex within 4.2 days. So let's just check out the javelins. I want to make sure that they're the tribals. 
Uh, the javelins are... Ooh, they are a pirate gang. Okay. A little bit scarier. We might actually send out all eight of our colonists. Just keep the colony with no one to defend it for a couple of days and pray that no one sets everything on fire. I think yes, because I want to go on more of these... Uh, I want to go on more of these quests. This has been my goal throughout pretty much this entire playthrough. As soon as we get a couple more granite traps done. Hey, Rox, uh, Rox says, Brandon, thanks very much for the Prime. Appreciate it. Hmm. When am I going to finish the Android series of RimWorld? I've been wanting to go back to Androids for a while. But it, it actually interrupted a, a weird work task I uh, kind of got assigned suddenly. So that was uh, <laughs> that was just kind of unfortunate. I don't know if I will because I might just relaunch it instead. That was a fun one to do. Fun one to do though. Different vibe about that series. I liked it though. Mm, we've got Parkas. I think we just need. I would like to make more weapons before I send them out. Do we have those chain shotguns? Okay, we can make chain shotguns. We need somebody with crafting six, though, and we don't have that. So I don't know if we're even going to get to have these chain shotguns. The people that we visit, and when I say visit, I mean attack, might have chain shotguns. But we have this doomsday rocket launcher, so I might just explode them all. But can we hack into the terminals if we do that? So many questions. So few answers. I think I'm just going to rashly go into this one, too, because I want to see what one of these things is like. Let's do it. It's information about the Dimasword. Uh, let's see. And there is the shuttle. Okay, everybody get on board. Don't question it. We're going to be fed and clothed and everything while we go on in this quest. Uh, get in. Get in. Uh, as for the Doomsday Rocket Launcher... Only because I don't want to destroy the terminals. Let's give you frag grenades instead. Hey, drunk, how are you, brother? Thanks for the raid, my friend. That's a that's a big, big, that's a nice big raid. Oh, uh, lots of people, lots of people here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, mom, games hard. Ah, friend of drunks, right? Hey, God bless. What were you guys on? Were you guys on uh, Rimworld? Hey, wowzers, drunk raid and a mom raid. What were you guys doing? Just screwed about screwed... What? Screwed... I don't think I can legally say that, drunk. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hey, Mom Games Hard. Thanks for coming out, too. What were you playing? I always love hearing about... It. Did it go well? Hope it went well. We're doing some neckbeard Rimworld... Oh, God! For God's sake! No, we left him at the house! Jesus, they took only seven people and they just went. Now we have the only unethical doctor here. Jesus Christ. Oh, Mom Games Heart was playing RimWorld. Damn. Nani, nani, nani. What is your colony like? I always like hearing about what other people are doing in this. Hang on a second. Hey, Triple G, thanks very much. Mm. And Cinnamon Knight. Thank you. Mm. Okay, there goes the shuttle. That was... Hang on a second. My Google Home is trying to talk to me again. This is upsetting. Okay, we have here a quest. We finally got our first uh, royalty quest. Or what is it? Not royalty. Mm. Ideology. That's the name of this expansion. Now we've got some cars here. We got like some sort of shady used car salesman over here. Mm, that's not our, the theme of our quest. We're just going to try to go into this really sketchy ancient chamber. How do we deal with bugs in this base? We fight them. We fight them fearlessly. We're very uh, strong, except that we did get kind of screwed by the last quest. Mom Games Hard, did you get any of the like weird quests? Because we had tribals to start coming out every three seconds trying to kill us. Vegetarian cow worship worshippers that like pain and stuff. Jesus. I mean... I was thinking of that Charborg, I had seen what he was doing. He was doing like these blind, pain-loving masochists. Why isn't the shuttle helping at all? Uh, we just got kind of sc uh, screwed by one of the quests earlier. 
It seems as though there's one entrance to this place that we have chanced upon one of the Indiana Jones-like quests. Love you, Senpei. How you liking ideology? Hey, thank you very much, Brick Sounds. Uh, it's it's going. I still don't know all the quests, so I'm, uh, I'm getting like gamer rage more often than I'd care to admit. But yeah, it's happening. The blind one was kind of weird. My last one, they sliced out the column. Yeah, like, I, some of these I do kind of question, but I'm waiting on the mods to update, so. Uh, optimistic about that. The last time I didn't send in enough colonists, though. Let's get line up melee people on the door. We're gonna, we're gonna do some try-hard RimWorld combat maneuvers. Always line up three melee colonists on the door. Oh, God. This is gonna be such a shit show. Our colony, everyone is just a neckbeard. That's the, that's the entire theme of this playthrough. Uh, hang on a second. Go in and hack that. Hermetic crate. What is there? Like a... Like a hermit crab in there? <laughs> okay, we've got the... We found the thing. Hang on a second. Before we get over there, let's just... Line up some melee colonists at the door. But I like this. It's like questing. It's like RuneScape or something, you know? Like we're gonna... We're gonna help the cook or whoever whoever needs help. You get over there. Uh, okay, you're doing all the hacking. Great. Is this another get in, get out fast kind of raid? There wasn't even any warning text for that. Don't be nudist in the desert because the desert gets cold sometimes. Yeah, the nudist tribals I think would just be a challenge. Not necessarily even good for any reason. But I also kind of want them to get some combat experience. Should we just look through the door? I mean, we should just sacrifice one guy. Oh, we've got three terminals. Okay, send in... Oh, God! Wait a minute. Don't laugh. This is the... This is the most tense I have ever been. Hang on a second. Don't everybody try to get through that door at once. This has become an absolute shit show. Entire colony dead right here. This would be a great way to lose the entire colony. Uh, okay. Why, though? Why did it explode? Large fire exp Okay, well, fortunately, it's just a regular fire explosion. I would spread out, except there's another one of them right here, and there could be enemies behind any of those doors. So this is what Tynan meant when he said traps. Get out. Get out of there. Get behind that wall. There's more stuff that's... Like, cue the Indiana Jones music right here. <laughs> All right, we survive. Who would we want to sacrifice uh, if things don't go so well? Let's go ahead and just open up this crate, because, I mean, like, why not? Oh, an advanced component. That's actually quite nice. Ancient generator, too. Hey, Teddy, thanks very much for the prime. Every second row room or so in this... I mean, is it always an explosion? That's a little bit predictable, I think. Yeah, you know, Spoon, you've just been, a, uh, You've lived long enough. Alright, some medicine. Thank God. Uh, what is this? Ancient unstable fuel node. This one's probably gonna blow up, too. Yeah, just keep... Keep doing this. Might explode soon. Great. Hmm. We need more of those hacking, though. But can we blow up the... No, this isn't what I want. This is reminding me... This is getting kind of Pokemon to me. I like this, though. It's like finding all the unknowns. My God, some Luciferium. Uh, okay. Go back in there. Hang on a second. You hack that, and you go over here. But it's neat to control all of the colonists, like, taking them through kind of an adventure. Ancient enemy terminal. This looks like a room where I'm gonna die. But let's just get out of here. What say you? Uh, where is the unstable fuel node? Knock down a wall or we'll die of superheated- Ah, yes, you're right. Hang on a second. 
Uh, somebody go ahead and just deconstruct that. Uh, Winters, you're the fastest. Good call. Yeah, we don't want to die from fire. Yeah, this room is getting hot. Hot. <laughs> Hang on a second. We gotta... No, you're not assigned to constructing. Not assigned to constructing. Deconstruct that. Yeah, just try to make this place somewhat more livable, please. Winters is there. You're cloud watching or something like that. You guys go in there. We got some time. Hang on. Uh, come on, guys. Let's just not go to bed now. It's like it's like running a colony of children, dare I say it. It is. Hmm. At least we'll have a wall. Some bad stuff is going to happen, though, at the end of this. We should probably... In fact, we should probably knock down all of the walls that get us closer to that shuttle for when the time comes. Yeah, let's make our escape be easier from here because when we, once we've hacked into these terminals we have to get out of here yeah like herding cats thank you major break risk you might go on fire in a second nug for but i just want to get out of here too uh two out of three hacked there we go now you get out of that room because it's on fire and then you take that and now we're being raided by the javelins i think we could just run from these people though but do they have any Good colonists. Nah, we're not going to try to put out that fire. This is in our house. Uh, slow learner, slothful. This guy's good in crafting, though. The slothfulness, though, makes me say no. I don't want hype chemically hyper... Or uh, whatever it is. Damn it. Are these guys good at combat? You are very melee, but you might not have an, as much of a chance to sharpen up on that. So I'm going to say no to all three. Uh, I know I'm being picky, but I am. Everybody get in. I, th I think we don't even really have to fight these pirates. Yeah, no soup for you. Goodbye. Yeah, what kind of mace do you have, though? Is this worth fighting you for? Just a steel mace. Not really worth it. Okay, but that was interesting. Hack the comms console, too. Can we do that? Oh, hack to drop supplies. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, except that he might die in this room. Am I willing to risk Nugfur's life? Perhaps. Hang on a second. Nugfur, uh, why don't you go ahead and... Well, this is not the room I would have told you to deconstruct it in, because that is not particularly safe. Wish I had seen that before. Thank you. Oh, that's a very quick hack, actually. Ancient supply satellite has been activated, and supplies will drop. Uh, oh, my word, this guy is very fast. Now, what dropped from the sky? Carnivore fine meal. Times 26, not really worth it. Let's see if we could get him out of here. Hang on a second. Winters, you hang out there. This is going to be like Predator. Uh, <laughs> get him there. Oh, God, Western Arconi is coming in. Nobody likes them. Hang on a second. Nug for why are you slow as hell? Get in that shuttle, man. Uh, can I get everybody out of the shuttle? And let's just see if we can get him to the shuttle without getting everybody out. Come on, come on, fight. Fight. This is the arena. Go. Go. Yes, good. You are a dodge. You were on the Dodgers. Take one more shot. Oh my god, he did. He would get hit. Alright, it's fine. Uh, you'll survive. Oh my god, this guy keeps hitting me with a mace. Great. Alright. Uh, uh, we didn't leave anybody, right? Ah, uh, fantastic. I like that because it minimizes the travel time. Look at all the traveling we're doing. <laughs> Cross country traveling. See, that is neat, because it used to be so slow to get to a location. Now we just went all the way to... Look, that's like the distance that I drove last week, but in plane speed. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah, set it to low. We shouldn't have uh, offloaded all of them at once, but it's fine. We got done with what we needed. We're a little bit closer to the mono sword. Uh, I'm not a big quester, guys. I'm not a big quester. We found two out of five of the things, and we got a third one. I guess we'll start to get more of these quests, because it doesn't seem it wants to give us more than two at once. That was a terminal hacking event. Very cool. Very nice. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. Information about the Dimma Dome. You can collect information, watch out. There you know, all kinds of dangers inside. So this one seems to me similar to the last one, except we don't have a, a ride away from it. I'd really like an event where Exhibit came over to pimp your base. I, that's the event that I've been waiting for. Pimp my base. 16 more days for a conversion ritual. Uh, neckbeard mold people. So, uh, do we have anybody who's not part of our faction yet? Just Hippopotamus. Okay, we'll try to convert her again. Uh, get out of bed so that I can convert you to my crazy religion. Here we go. I mean, ideology. There we go. She's been convinced. Stay out of bed. Don't sleep. Sleep is wrong. All right, well, we've got tattered apparel. Uh, Fabio Winters and Spoon. Uh, let's go ahead and just see what kind of anything. Manage outfits, select outfit, anything. But why, why are you wearing those clothes, though, if they're in such poor condition? This is why I like the repair shelf mod. The one where you could just place something on a shelf and the clothing item gets repaired. It's a little bit overpowered, but don't they spend in somewhat an inordinate amount of time making clothes? I'd also like a laundry machine in the game so that you could untaint things, but I think that's also been created as a mod. SRTS is... Yeah, SRTS I might want to spend some time with. Spent a little bit of time with Save Our Ship. Probably my favorite moment, though, was just the hissing of that unstable fuel cell. <laughs> I haven't felt that much tension in the game in a while. I enjoy tension. I love it. Uh, let's see. Shrink the zone. Fibrous me is Fibrous Mechanite's the partially good one, though? That might have not been entirely a bad thing. Are these it's made of steel? They might uh, undo those. Proper treatment and spend as much time as possible. You have fibrous mechanites. This is the pretty sure that this is the one that makes you a little bit faster. Yeah, blood pumping plus fifty percent moving. This might actually be a good thing. Um, although they need to get in bed occasionally, they also move faster, which is great for winters. Does winters have fight? Yes, good. He has fibrous mechanites because he's old. He's very old. Hmm. I promise. That more Factorio was coming soon, and it was four months ago. Yeah, there was a. Uh, I did some videos on Factorio. Plus, we're doing more. Hmm. Dub's hygiene was a laundry. Has a laundry machine. Hey, Totem, how are you? Fifty-two percent. Ah, fifty-one. They'll still wear it. Ah, you got a point. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Anything? Maybe they'll like put it on at 52? They should just reject the clothing immediately at that point though. Biocoded would be okay as long as it's biocoded to them, obviously that would make sense. Mm. Mm. Is it inclusive? Hmm. Did I ever try Space Haven? Tried Space Haven briefly once on stream. Sorry, I'm getting very defensive. I'm getting very defensive. My main thing is I just. There's more. My eyes are bigger than my stomach. I can't cover as many games as I think. So I can't always do everything on YouTube and Twitch. But a lot of the things I've been trying to move over to kind of like long play types of things. Because there's a lot of games that I want to play, but I can't really do on the main channel, if that makes sense. Yeah. 52 to 100%. Am I done learning Factorio? Yeah, I'd say so. I haven't launched a ship yet, but... There is, uh, there is more, there is more in the works. Whether it's on my channel or someone else's channel. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. Now I've got a, a good group of folks to collaborate with now. Uh, animal disease pla plagu. Here we are. Oh no, not another plagu. Someone save the doge. Yes, doge coin to the moon. Hmm. Do I want it to go? Oh yeah, absolutely. Did it, wait, are they wearing... Why are they still wearing tainted apparel, though? Oh, it's because we forced him to wear something from the beginning. Ah, and he was also forced to wear this. This can happen at times, where we force them to wear something. My god, I didn't know that he was bald. Look at him. Look at his glorious beard. I mean, uh, bald head. He's even more dwarven, then. A lot of dwarves are also missing their hair, right? Oh, isn't that a thing? Have I considered hiring someone to play games for me? 
Yeah, actually, yes. Actually, yes. <laughs> Normal 60. Yeah, this is, this is the problem is we just, we had certain things that were necessary a while back. We're going to want to make another steel slice cap too. Make one of these. Make sure that we have like two of these things at all times of decent condition. And two of these. Just so that they always have something. And let's make sure that they're in a decent condition too. I hate automating clothing because it's just such a pain in the butt to get it like done. But let's just make sure that they're of decent quality. There we go. Uh, only an out loud creeds. Pause when satisfied. Only a uh, God, there's so many things here. This is like a lot of Dwarf Fortress type of UI, but just in a very small space. We'll do that. Slice cap. And then we want to do more or less the same thing with the slice cap. There we go. 80 to 100. Yeah. I'll allow it. Can they make one out of wood? Mm -hmm. Speckledorf says, what was my life like pre-YouTube, pre-Twitch? Just curious. Oh, I have a normal, uh, had a normal job. Um, I just, the one thing I didn't like about it was that I had a very long commute. So, uh, that's one thing I'm thankful for here. I'll be at more liberties to talk about it, uh, in time. It's just kind of a time-sensitive thing. But yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to be all secret. But, uh, let's see. So, but it, I am being somewhat secret, and I think that's kind of fun to be secret, don't you? Yeah. Can I dub Jim Carrey? No, I don't think that he would like that. Hmm. I don't know why I'm being so negative. I just am. I just am. Very negative. You ever find that about yourself? Like you find that you just feel like you're closed-minded? And then you're like, why am I fighting everything? And then suddenly, life is a good Ah, oh, goddammit, Mad Lynx. He opened his mind. He achieved enlightenment. But now, at the same time, let's uh, go ahead and just say... Like, we gotta automate this, because every time that an animal goes crazy now, I have to send somebody out with a gun to shoot it. I'm gonna bring out Hippopotamus. My god, the lynx just ran right for the trap. Maybe I won't even need turrets. I usually refrain from turrets for a while. Forced approach. Ooh. Ah, I like this one. Uh, they are looking for a place to land. The commander must be rescued, but the cataphracts may be sacrificed. Okay, I like these ones. Uh, is everyone more or less mentally stable now? I'll take it for the Glitter World Medicine, because Glitter World Medicine is actually quite valuable. Shuttle crashed. All we need to do is defend a shuttle in our territory. And they might even be able to help us take out some of these other enemies over here. We've got only one cataphract over there. We'll draft everyone. Is anyone missing a weapon? You have your grenades. You love your grenades, except uh, use these other grenades instead. Should we? No, we won't use the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. At some point, we will. At some point, we will. Just not right now. Now go over there and help them. Help your friends. Yes, I'm actually going to use this to help me destroy the uh, defoliator ship. Yeah, they landed right next to a bear, too. Great spot. Hmm, is this everyone? I believe that's everyone. Uh, where do we want to take cover from this thing? This thing may actually make the fight much more interesting, dare I say. I might hide an EMP colonist behind it, though. Just because I don't want anything too unexpected. Or do I? How did you get a purple flak vest? Is that your favorite color? No, you like pink. Alas. Hang on a second. Uh, get bourbon in there. We need bourbon to just EMP these things. I'm going to wait over here and just find out what happens with the raiders. Hi, everyone hide behind this wall. No one will ever expect it. Where is the quest? Uh, you need to get them all on board. Tribes people from the, the tribes people are going to attack, so we might be able to get these mechs to fight a bunch of tribes people, which I think would be a spectacle. If they're lancers, we should punch them. Yeah, we'll send out a... Well, we'll throw an EMP in, and then we'll spear them. 
But I want to see if they fight the tribals anyway, because I always just didn't have a great time watching that. We should also deconstruct these while we're out here. Major break risk on Winters. Winters, you just go home. No, I don't really need quite this many people. I just need everyone to be able to sit here patiently and wait. Probably my least favorite part about RimWorld, though, is that when colonists are out here, like, drafted, hungry and cold, they should be able to sit for an hour and wait. I'm pretty sure that there is a mod that makes colonists, like, less prone to breakage if they're drafted, right? I mean, he's stressed right now. Now we've got to, just because all my colonists are stressed, i got to take on these mechs. Which is a little upsetting, I, I need I say. Let's do this, and I'm going to send in my melee colonist. We'll send, keep these three back here. You go in for this one, you go in for this one, and you go in for this one. Since you're pretty good, you'll be fine. They're now going to be immune to stunning. Send these people over here. Stunning! Bonding. And send you on that one. It's actually not that bad for blood and dust. Ah, now they're finally raiding. For God's sake. Right when I'm out of cover, too. Okay, you go home. You guys stay here behind the defoliator ship, which is completely safe. And then now we could use this impassable cover for us. Hmm. That's, I'm depressed. My strategy could have worked better, but alas. I don't really mind fighting these people. I wouldn't mind getting them a little bit more melee skill. But for God's sake, why isn't the uh, cataphract helping us? I shouldn't have encountered them right here. Hang on a moment. Uh, you fight him, you also fight him, and you also fight him. Wait, are they co in complete coverage back here? Ah, good. The cataphract is helping us. You know, if I don't mind using my people a little bit as meat shields for this. They're quite good. Good, he's getting into the fight now, and... Uh, you guys go home. Yeah, this should be fine now. Go home, don't even fight. Don't even fight. Oh, you are very good. But except you have creepy... You are a complete liability with anything other than fighting. Or medicine. Local fascination nudist, I can't really have that. Cannibal asexual. Has one passion in crafting? Yes, I think so. Hmm. Do I voice over my YouTube videos or use VOD audio? I haven't really made a lot of streams into videos. Hmm. Not for a while, anyway. Asexual cannibal. This person is just... wild. Female age 15, that's a lot of life left to her. Let's see if we can get her. If she manages to survive this. Hippopotamus has decided to throw a tantrum into- Oh, she died. I had more target practice now then. Great! Uh, you I didn't want, right? Yeah, I don't think that you'll work out very well in this colony. Alas, alas. We should destroy this. Shoot that. Okay, this thing is going down and then we'll be pretty much down here. Uh, let her die, but what, does she have any gear, cloth, parka? Yeah, we'll take that. Who is still around? You go ahead and, uh, strip her, and this one is also wearing a parka, so we will strip them, and that seems like a good idea. Strip that, too, and this thing is done. Nice. We've had bad luck. I've had bad luck. Eh, this is, like, normal luck, I suppose. I haven't really had anything horrible or catastrophic happen to the- I had a horrible luck at the beginning of the stream, but I think we got pretty lucky with that second quest. Rescue shuttle has arrived. And these people should... get out on their own, I think. So, unless if a bear attacks them or something, so we'll just hope that they don't do that. And great, we got the Glitter World Medicine. Haul the Glitter World Medicine. Nice. I'd say that was worth it for 11 Glitter World Medicine. Glitter World Medicine saves lives. Mm, allow these. And good, you're done. And look at all of the other garbage that we get from that ship. Nice. They did up the amount of loot that you would get from mechanoids. I think that was quite nice. Oh, and somebody just randomly dropped pemmican from the sky. That's also quite nice. Very good, yes. More of that. 
I suppose at this point we could also say make fine meals. Let's just say always have like 12 fine meals if they can, as well as packaged survival meals. Let's make like 20 of those, just so that we have a lot in reserve in case if we have to go very far. And a manhunter pack. My god, we are getting a lot more events now. Oh my god, that's a lot of arctic foxes. Is someone still far away from home? Hang on a second. I need to check on my people. They're all at home. We are safe from the Arctic Fox Menace. That is... Over ten. That is over ten Arctic Foxes. Playing full vanilla right now. No mods. Hmm. Everyone get out of bed. The Fox Menace won't be stopped. If you just stay in bed and sleep. You can't ignore it. I think we're going to keep bourbon with these EMP grenades, just because I feel safer with him with those. Yes, lock your doors and stay inside, people. Uh, bourbon, though, you go home because I don't... I think we'll be fine without you. Now, how do I line them up here? I think we're going to need everybody else in general behind cover. We should have done the defensive positions mod. We'll start to add in more stuff now, though. You stay there. Okay, this is a fairly decent position, except that they'll probably come in from this side. Yep, that pretty much works. Uh, except you switch with him because of the range. Ooh, Goranlin... Goranlin... Goranlin pod sprout. This I have been reading about, and I was waiting for one of these things with great anticipation. Hmm. Attempt to location. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Right behind the Arctic foxes. Definitely Quell, thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it, my friend. Hmm. Stand firm, people. Stand firm, people. Excellent. Oh my god, everyone is so inaccurate. We're going to lose... So we probably won't get hurt, but we'll probably lose more spike traps than I would care to... Ad oh my god, th can they be stopped? Okay, good. That one didn't... Ah, oh, Jesus. Think of all the granite that we're using up. Maybe it's because they're so sly and small and slippery. Ah, oh, we did splendidly against these. No, trench chem. What did what happened to her? Uh, what did happen to her? I don't know. All right. Well, Fox is on the uh, ground. And the menu. That was that was quite a lot of maddened Arctic foxes. More of a Randy type of event, I would really expect. But we haven't we haven't still haven't gotten hit with the infestation, the much anticipated an infestation that we've all wanted for so long. Really been looking forward to that, and I'm upset that we haven't been infested yet. So that I can prove my metal and worth. And we'll also open the door here. Maybe we'll get infested. Tantrum under- No! No! Don't! Oh! Forty-four components. I hate winters. Why winters? Winters, you just cost me- That was all of the components. That was all of my components. Might have to execute the lead. Yeah, you're right. Might have to accuse myself. Look, now he's sleeping in bed. Loser. I hate winters. He has destroyed... This happened with to me when I was playing with Private Lime a while back. Except it was somebody destroying all of the medicine. Is there any way... Is there any way... I hate winters. Yeah, I know. It, it, we could. Just because he's getting kind of... But otherwise, he's a good colonist. That happened to be the worst thing that he's ever done. But otherwise, I still like him. Look, he's right back to work. So he has... Net overall, he has contributed to this colony. However. However. Uh, well, they've made it easier to find components. Is there a component mining site? I would take winters for that. Even though I hate him right now. 
Well, here's the good news. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, we need to get some trading. And we're almost at microelectronics. The bad news is we just lost 44 components. And the ugly is that I really don't know how to prevent colonists from destroying something with a tantrum. Is there any, like, SOP way of preventing your colonists from destroying all of their own resources in that way? Because... Oh, and we should also get a... Can we Q research here? Uh, I want to get some psychite tea production. We'll have to do drug production after we do microelectronics. That's usually the way to riches in the game. Mm, build a wall in front of the door. I could. I could. But do I really want my components? Arrest them. He, he mentally broke right next to the components. And I happen to be having a time sped up. You're right. You got a point, though. Snap out, yeah. I suppose just divide up your components into multiple piles or anything like that. Though that's just such a rare occurrence. 44 components, all because they were in one stack. Ugh, that's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, whatever. We'll live. We will survive and overcome and conquer. Fabio, you can... Wow, my senses of when he would be... Uh, fix have really improved. Uh, let's see, Hippopotamus is still the only one who is not part of our clan. We will keep trying to convert her, though she's in such a good mood that she keeps going back up in certainty. We're really going to need to do another conversion ritual, but we were able to immediately convert somebody with that last masterful one, so, so I do feel very much encouraged by that. Well, seeing as we don't have any components, let's go get some more. Uh... Okay, microelectronics. So we're going to need to mine out some stuff. Let's get drug production up, too. And then we're going to do... Oh, what is this? Cheetahs on a... All right. Otherwise, good fortune. Good fortune. M mine out this. Where else are components? I'm on the rare task of looking for components underneath the mountain. No. Literally no components. Oh, there they are. These things can be de uh, deconstructed for components. That is quite good. And we have another one out here. We'll just kind of wait on them to naturally do that. Uh, and there's more components over here. Okay, excellent. Excellent work. Thank you, eyeballs, for seeing the components. My eyeballs have improved today. I noticed a lack of chickens from which to get tended. Uh, have a lot of people been doing the chicken and cow meta? Yeah, that's that's been a thing. That's been a thing. I really wish I could do a farm. The other thing, though, is that we settled in an area where we would be challenged. Maybe next time I won't challenge myself as much. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, modern totem doing like a like a small jail for your most valuable items, like penoxicillin, things like that. I could see that. That would work. Like if you put it into a forbidden room that's very far away from anything else that they use in the colony. I think that's probably the best, uh, the best answer. Is just like any components we have, just put them way over here. So that despite the fact that they have to walk a far away. I just think that that tantrum thing is so rare. Mm. I'm, I'm not happy with it. But this reminds me of the first time that I discovered how like... Forbidden drugs work in the game, and I always used to have colonists have mood breaks and then just take a lot of, like, binge on Psychite or something. Just a very unlucky mood break. Mm, why are you eating pemmican? When you could be eating these fine meals. Now, there we are. Another statue. So let's just see how this room is. Uh, what is the quality of the extremely impressive, extremely impressive? This one's 122, this one's 134. So they walk in here. Actually, I might install this here instead, simply because I don't want them to be upset. Arc is shape. Arc is... Ch oh, so when the expectations go up, they demand something Arcist. Minor break risk on bourbon. Why is he... Chemical starvation. So it's only his chemical starvation here. We're researching the drug lab. So what I'm going to do next is to make psychite tea, which can actually be made in a kitchen, if I'm not mistaken, as soon as they finish research on that. 
It'll be like another second. Mad rats. Is that literally just one rat? I do not fear that. No. Just go away and die. Gun turrets. Auto Karen turret. I'll try some auto Karens. We'll get some uh, mini turrets in here. Hmm. Bourbon, you're the only one I wouldn't want outside. Good. The mad rat is dead. And we will live to see another day. Huzzah. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well. How now? Hang on a second. Cheetah, just... Prepare to fight. There we are. Good, okay, I think that's... No, that actually happens to not be the last of the rats. Repel them. Repel them. Extinguish their lives. Good job fighting a rat with a spear. That seems like a, a bit of an excessive item to use against it. Strike the rat. Is this vanilla? It is indeed vanilla. The Skaven Emissary approaches. We are kind of playing as Skaven ourselves, though, in a way. Hmm. Methinks... Okay, good. Back up to 16 components, which we won't destroy all in one pile again. Hmm. Good. What's the other thing that I wanted to do, though? Oh, yeah. Uh, drug production. Did they... Maybe, perhaps, they moved this over to the uh, actual drug workstation. Uh, let's build a drug lab in here. Even if we don't really use it, per se, it's still going to be worth it to create this thing. Simply because... This might go better with our kitchen. Well, whatever it is. Um, just because they're really valuable. So that might be worth it. Winters, you destroyed everything. Now you fix everything. I don't like you. As much as I did before. I still do like you, though. Please don't leave. Please don't be hurt in your feelings. I am right. I am right about you. You just need to change. That's all. You just need to change. Now, I could have sworn... Oh, no, I... No? So then it is still in a kitchen. Maybe, perhaps it's because we don't actually have any of these things stockpiled. What if... How now... When we put it in a stockpile zone? How now? No! Where is the... Where is the Psychite tea made? Uh... Can I check the Garolin... Ah, uh, yeah, Gar... Uh, whatever you call it. Garenlin. Garenlin. Yeah, where did I leave that? Oh, there it is. Ah, plant Garenlin tree. Uh, what is this thing going to do for us? Seed of a Garenlin tree can be used to create a new gra uh, Garonlin, Garonlin tree. Let's plant it somewhere. That is outside. Somewhere that is outside. It doesn't like metal. Okay. Then let's put it in front of our... Ha uh, actually, in front of our house. Is eh, we'll put it in front of our house anyway. In the spot where we already cut down all of the other trees to replace those things. I have not experimented with this at all, so it is almost totally a mystery to me. Where do we make Psychite tea, though? Psychite tea used to be made at a, a stove, if I'm not mistaken, right? Where? Crafting spot? Really? Really? Did they change that? Oh, we need brewing to be able to create Psychite tea. My mistake, then. Thank you. Ah, yes, we didn't have psychite refining, so let's research that instead. Senior moment. Senior moment. Good. Good. So we just need to do that. Uh, in which case, I don't actually want this stuff here, but we will put our psychite leaves. Uh, we will create, like, a high-priority spot here. We just need to kind of create a bigger kitchen now, I think. How am I going to handle this? Uh, we m This room has not overheated at all, and I've just kind of forgotten about it. Let's go ahead and... Mm. I don't really want to get the kitchen as a place of major foot traffic. Kind of on the fence. I'm undecided. I'm undecided. What, what should I do with this kitchen? It's almost like I should have just shifted everything over a little bit. I didn't think that we'd be working with quite this much space. But in time, yes. Everything will be mined away. Hmm, let's mine out this. And I think we're just going to shift over this entire kitchen. 
little bit this way. So the refrigerator will just be over here. Yes, there. And then we will shrink this zone back over yonder. The kitchen, we mine out these walls. But then we also don't want a lot of foot traffic in there. We really don't need that much space, though. What we might end up just doing is building a door over, like, here instead. Let's forbid this for now. We delete that. And then we create another marble wall over here. Yes, this is a good idea. Um, hmm. In which case, we can do this, and this, and this, and this. And then I think it will build another door there. Okay. All right, I think that that works. And then this just massively improves the size of our kitchen. Hmm. It's always hard to, or tricky to shift things around once you've already established everything. I need to research site. Yes, the psychite, psychite brewing. Thank you. There's also beer brewing, which beer is pretty... I, I kind of regret that about this colony, though. Just thinking about how extremely overpowered uh, any types of drugs are in late game RimWorld. Phenoxacillin production, Goju's production, Wake Up production. I haven't really experimented much with Goju's, but I should. Goju's can be quite good. This is the kitchen. This is fine. This is still cold, except, uh, we need to get it colder. And then I think that we can build another copy of these things, only because we have so many more ingredients that I'd like to put into my kitchen. But now, the other new problem is that we need to do this. And then this room just kind of becomes nothing. Simply because I don't want to have a lot of foot traffic in this kitchen. Alright, I think that will effectively minimize the foot traffic in the kitchen. We have got this. Now we want to get the auto cannons. But what do we need for auto cannons? High tech research bench, so we just need to go ahead and create one of those. Let's deconstruct one of these. And then we will put a door here. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. Again, just trying to minimize the foot traffic so that I don't get the kitchen dirty. My dog? Wait, my dog? How is Marta? Marta recovered, right? Only time I ever used go juice, my colonist had a heart attack and died. Really? Hmm. Hmm, what happened? Refining gives me freak in the Oh yeah, no, I get the I get the drug production in the game. It's just taking me a while. Okay, so now at this one. Oh yes, my bad. Okay, I see what you I see what you mean. Okay, so what I need to do is do beer brewing. Uh, psychoid brewing. Thank you. That's it for psych IT. Psych IT is the one I want because we have somebody with a chemical fascination where he wants he wants drugs despite the fact that he is, well, uh, whatchamacallit, despite the fact that he is a neckbeard mole person and in general they don't like drugs. But just all kinds of garbage like this. Mm, but then that will allow us to do the psych IT. Okay, then let's do, we'll leave the meats in there. We'll leave the funguses in there. Or fungi, fun not yeah. There we are. That's how you say that. Um, but we still can be refining psych guide too. Let's go ahead and make. We'll make until we have like. Let's make a conservative amount of smoke leaf joints. There we are. Hmm. The rest of this, I know this looks like kind of a mess. Oh, uh, don't hold this open actually. I just want to create enough doorways and things like that to dissuade them from ever wanting to walk through here. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Okay, let's give them a high-tech research bench now. Mm. High-tech research bench, here we are. And that belongs... My god, why is it so... That's fine, we'll just build it over a little bit. Uh, I am going to need room for the multi-analyzer. Let's deconstruct that too. And we'll reinstall this over here. Think that's fine. 
Good, good, good. And then... Yeah, I think we're up in business again. Nice. Yeah, just a lot of, like, restructuring types of things I need to do. I think we'll send somebody else out on this quest, too. Maybe we'll get a uh, uh, deconstruct. Good. Yeah, do that first. Then we'll build you another research bench. Okay, I think steel is fine. We need more components again, though. All right, I think at this point in time, let's send somebody else out on a quest. Uh, and bourbon also, too, needs that chemical fascination. Take care of. We'll give him some sort of jug policy so that he tries out a bunch of different stuff, but he doesn't get addicted to anything. Uh, crop lights starve them. Permission to stay at Mount 2 for 12 days so they can rest and regroup. Refugees are now part of any faction. Okay, great. Yeah, so we'll take some refugees. We have enough meals and we're stable enough that we can use the labor now. Uh, is there anyone good among these? Psychopath, too smart, warm, plants, animals, night owl, kind. I'm looking for a crafter. I don't have a crafter in here. I just have miners, planters. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Oh, okay. Well, they'll do mostly that and just a lot of hauling. Floor on the freezer. No, it's perfectly clean in there. Don't question it. <laughs> um, hmm. Do we want only this one entrance? Yeah, I think I'll just leave that door forbidden. Hey, Wando G. Thanks for coming out. Did we already deconstruct all the ship parts for components? Yep, we did. Though I don't think that we've mined out all of the other locations. Or here, these ones are sitting on the floor waiting to be hauled. But look, there they go. Mining out the components. This guy have this guy has a very long beard. Look at the how tenuous and oh my god, it's beautiful. Mm. I think they, we have enough beds for these people too, right? Three. Yep, there are three beds there. That is enough. Major breakers. Now, what's your problem? Why are you breaking? Please don't missing dutiful form uh, an archic image. Jesus, this would be a major advantage if we had more neckbeards come to join us. Come, come, join. Maybe we could convert one of them, like select one of them to bring over to our faction and then just force him to join us or imprison him. It seems that imprisonment has been buffed, though. Hmm. There we are, good. Uh, now what do we need? Multi-analyzer or something? Psychoid brewing, we'll do that. Very well. And now this will give us permission to kind of leave our home. Looks change desired. Uh, good. Nugfur has changed his... Look good. He has taken on a neckbeard. Fantastic. Hmm. Okay, now I think we will actually send somebody out in the world. Yes, the world. Hmm. Form a caravan. Let's go over here. We're just going to do one trip to this one and then one to the other one as well. I'm going to send a lot of colonists, though. Nugfur, you, you, you... Not really paying much attention now because we have laborers and we can do more or less whatever we want. Spoon has the heavy SMG, so we'll send him as well. And we want people who are stable, who won't break like they did the last time. Now, I thought four was enough the last time. It wasn't. So let's send Winters as well. Uh, or Trenchakem would be fine. Uh, 2.5 days of food, that should be enough. Okay, everyone, we're going on a trip. Uh, not in our favorite rocket ship, just on, a, on the ground is what we're going to do. We've decided. No, it would be very expensive to go on a trip in a rocket ship. Hmm. Need to expand that. Okay, who's going crazy? Malakar, uh, villagers, database. Okay, good. This is the information about the Dimasword. Uh, all right, we know how to deal with this now, so I'm going to accept this one as well. Where is this? My god, all of this information about a sword keeps popping up. Go, my people, go! Quickly now, quickly. Feast your eyes on the horizon. A worm, you are in... Uh, Malakar... You, these, so far, these people have just destroyed our base. Okay, good, he's back. Rational again. And now with enough colonists to keep it going. Uh, let's also... Ooh, Spoon we actually sent out there. We should have activated Spoon's mining ability because we could get quite a lot of it done right now. But alas, it was not meant to be. Mm. Yeah, we need marble for the walls too. 
You know, let's just make it out of granite. I never expected we would get to this point, but it doesn't make much of a difference. And these are sort of like outer walls, so it's fine. Granite, 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 granite. And why is there a raccoon asleep in here? And uh, also a, uh, a hare. Yeah, we will, we will murder them because they are, right now they've just entitled themselves to our meal source. I don't like that. Precision rifling. I need sniper rifles because they're pretty overpowered. Uh, when you get them in the right hands. Good. Die. Good. Okay, that was painfully easy. Very nice. Hmm. Everyone is asleep except Winters is... What's, what's the matter with you? Fibrous mechanites. Good. Bourbon. The sketchy doctor. Good. Bulk goods trader. Might end up getting some more components here as well. Hmm. I think I will send you out, in fact. We'll just wait until they come in a bit closer. Marble blocks. Good, he's bringing over the marble blocks. Worm 2, major break risk on winters. That's fine. Uh, uh, actually, he's going to get us worse prices. We'll just wait until he gets out of the light. Okay, good. Uh, try to trade now. All right, whatever, it's fine. Components. Have they any components? They do have a goat, but only a single goat. Animal is rideable. Oh, because of caravans. Whoops. Was that in the game before? Kind of questioning that right now. Uh, let's sell away our bowler hats, which we were so privy to wearing previously. Mm, simple steel helmet. We'll sell away the awful one. These ones are of normal quality, but we'll sell away the poor quality ones because you don't really want to be wearing poor quality armor. I hate to say it. Hmm. Zinthred Viber uh, Tribal Wear is actually quite valuable. We'll sell that. Hmm. Hmm. 48, 51, 51. Sell all of this. Synthred t shirt. Good, good, good. All of this poor quality. This is like a trip to TJ Maxx. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Um. Hmm, blue fur, all of this good te We want the textiles because we just want to keep on grinding our crafting skill. Uh, we actually love insect meat, so we may perhaps have some of this. Let's just test some of it out. Let's buy, like, 100 of this. I haven't had a chance to try any of it. A delicacy. A delicacy. We will sell a negative... Just because we have so much goddamn fungus, and we need money more. Uh, and in return, we'll buy a lot of tribal medicine because we, have, we haven't really quite been making it as fast as I thought we would. I uh, believe that's it. Unfortunately, these people don't have components. They have only bison, which is not really desired. Oh, damn it. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, then let's buy a thousand insect meat. Uh, 1,100. Amazing. Okay, this is great. We, for some reason, we enjoy eating insect meat in this faction. Oh, the goat. Why is the goat so great? But it's a male goat. Do we really need the goat? Actually, do should we get the goat? Eh, our goat's overpowered. I was waiting for a chicken or a cow. Mm. Mm. They overhauled caravan speed in one point. My voice sounds naturally poetic. And you were thought you would be disappointed from the videos. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I don't know, I switch into different, different, depending upon my mood, different cadences and, and whatnot. It does, it differs day to day. You ever do that though? You just feel indifferent? Mm. I think that partly become, comes, bleh. if I were one of those face cam people, you would, you would do one thing more often. No, but I look painfully generic in real life. This is the reason I don't show you who I am. Okay, here we are. Zooming in. Hmm. Ooh. This is a good place. Wow, hang on a second. Why didn't I have this before? Who is broken? Trenchakem? Uh, hang on a moment. You're a slob. Die. Maybe it's because we've had her with this, uh trench co or what is it flak jacket you know you just be yourself over there i'm gonna send in the good people over here 
Ah, excellent. Okay, so we know that the entire place is going to blow up with fire. So I think that that's more of a reason to... My god, what is this? A locker with a body? Oh god. Okay, uh... You go ahead and... No, you'll never do constructing. Okay, well, you're... I'll never like you. Okay, this is painful a little bit. Hang on a second. Maybe we should just set them up here. Fabio, go ahead and deconstruct that, because how the hell else are we going to get into this place? We're probably going to get raided or something when we're done with this. Let's just destroy all of the walls nearby. Everyone, just make yourselves at home. Knock yourself out. These are uh, 1.3. Do I have a tutorial for split-screen Project Zomboid? I haven't done a tutorial in a while. Um, all you got to do is Steam Remote Play, though. Okay, what is blowing up in here? Oh, uh, you get out of there. Hang on a second. Actually, stay in this room. It, the, hi the hissing is getting higher and higher. I feel like I'm getting a little... Crypto Sleep Pod, attack this to destroy it. Well, okay, game. Oh, no, everything is on fire now. You get out of there. What do we even want to go come to this place for? What was this? What was this place about again? A too funky. Thanks very much for the prime. As well as a uh, little bit VC and little bit VC. Thank you very much for the five gift subs. God bless. But the fires on the crates so they don't disappear. I know it's just there's so much fire. Is it? Ri I don't want to risk anyone's life. What was this place again? Ancient installation. Break into the structure and hack the computer system. Uh, watch out. Okay, so we need to make sure that the computer terminals don't get destroyed. I think that this is the only one, and probably enemies will come out when we're done with it. Alright, so I suppose that if we want to get information, we've got to, uh... Nope, don't go in that room. That would be bad. What did we get here? Compact weaponry. Okay. I actually apply that. That's good. Hmm. We'll be watching the, um, hmm. Traps lighting everything on fire. Yeah, I don't really like how it just destroys everything. But it does make it kind of, like, tense and dangerous. Let's see what happens when we attract enemies in. Yeah, you go ahead, go get those meals. Okay, we're gonna hack into this terminal. Are we really in the optimal fighting position right here? I have no idea where these enemies are gonna come from, though. Raid by Western Arconi. Oh, is that by our crazy person? I think we have to get out of here now, because we're probably just going to keep on getting raided. Select all of our colonists. We're going to just bring everyone over to Trenchikem. And just try to have them deal with the fire instead of us. Looks like they're coming for the ancient installation, so... Yeah, I think that we pretty much made it out of here. Albeit everything is on fire. But I don't really care to learn any more information. Yes, I think that this is fine. I can see the linked quest from the tile in the word. Ah, yes, we should do that. I'm pretty sure that I did all of the hacking, though, right? There wasn't any other terminal to hack in there. If I'm not mistaken, despite the fact that it destroyed some stuff. Ancient kitchen sink. The only thing I won't ever know is that crypto sleep pod, but I'm fine with that. And we all made it out. Okay, great. How much more uh, food do we have? We might as well go to the Worshipful Village as well. Really quick. And then come home a little bit hungry. I think that would be fine. I think that would be fine. Do we need to fight the raid? Did we actually get the information? Uh, let's see. Active. Ancient installation. Uh, no, there is another installation that we have to go to. Oh, well, it's off the map now. I mean, we did hack into the terminal. Okay, the Worshipful Village. So now we're just going to send somebody in there. Who's the fastest among these people? Everyone else stay at the map edge. Whom am I willing to... Uh, who am I willing to risk? Not whom. Who is the fastest among you? Mm, your manipulation isn't quite as... Well, you're fine. Nugfer so far is the best candidate. Ah, uh, actually, Trenchikem is the fastest. Oh, my word. Fabio is very fast. Okay, Fabio, you're going in. Get that terminal. 
Everyone else, uh, stay far away. Just in case. I think we can do this peacefully if we just go in and they don't notice anything. Hmm. Hey, Atomic Shark, thank you very much for the sub. Oh my god, wait a second. Get out of there. You're very fast, though, so you'll probably escape. Everyone else, get drafted, but get ready to just run away. They might get a few... bows. Ah, uh, amaze. Amaze. Yes. We are saved. Good. We have fled. The Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> uh. Hey, Super Nintendo. Thanks very much. Hmm, hang on a second. Go back to Mount Dew. Here we are. Zoom in. Okay. This has happened. We are better off. We are better off. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have to create a lot of Psychite T or like um, Flake. I think Flake unit for unit is more valuable than Yayo. I know Yayo is more expensive. Uh, actually, it's been a while. It's They're pretty comparable, though. Quest completed. So now we have almost all of the Mono Sword. Money, the Revered Relic. We have three out of five. We just need the last part of the Ancient Installation, and then that'll be four out of five, and then we just need one more. Let's see if we can get that before the end of this. Mm, that makes three out of five, and then once we get the last uh, one that we've been assigned, we'll be at four out of five. Then we'll just need one more after that. I rather like the variety here, though, because quests used to always just be, like, uh, very one-dimensional. Colonus needs rescue. Armadillo. What happened to you? Ah, food poisoning. I don't see how you would need to be rescued from your food poisoning, though. Like, is anything gonna... Well, you, yeah. Like, you just went to Outback and you had a really big plate of ribs. Jesus. Atomic Shark, thanks very much for the gift set. Hmm. Can we have lots of... We haven't really been going for a Psyker colony, but we could have done that. We could have. Little bit VC, thank you very much for those five unmerited, five, very much unmerited. I don't know what I, what did I, well, thank you regardless for the five gift subs. Clearly, I never had your mosque. Ah, uh, yaks. How many, how many yaks though? Okay, a male and a female yak. If they joined immediately, you know, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Yes to these yaks. Will they have enough nutrition? Probably not. Just so that we could train our animal skill, though, because I think that that is... There is some value in that, anyway. Hmm. Hey, Lydiker, thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm. Where to put Animalia? Animalia. Out here. I think that's enough room for two yaks. How much room do two yaks need? I'm going to put them outside of my kill box because I don't really care about them, but I want to use them as sort of a meat shield. You know what I mean? Mm. We will cut the trees. Solar flare. Okay. This is decent timing for that. We have good power. Yes, our lives are fine in here. Here at Mount Dew. Uh, though we don't want them seeing all that, all those animal corpses. Mm. Shrink this zone down. My god, that was a lot of arctic foxes out there. Really, it was. Truly. Caravan has arrived. Ah, yes. Welcome home, heroes. Legends of the Hidden Temple. And casual victim. Very much, very much thanks for the prime. feel like assault rifles are way more useful with raiding being more important. I, I feel like that there's been a lot of quests where it's just kind of get in and get out. You don't necessarily need combat, but the more dynamism, the happier I am. And there is certainly a lot of dynamism in this. Oh my god, hang on a second. We need to keep converting this woman. Um, is it hippopotamus? It's hippopotamus. Uh, where is Fabio? Fabio, go ahead and convert hippopotamus again while the lights are out. She'll never expect it. Ah, good. Okay. Conversion attempts have been successful. Thus far, anyway. 
Um, man, it's so sad to see your colony with solar flare. Maybe one of these people will join us, though. Mulugmaka. Mulugmalukar. Almost sounds like Alucard. Castlevania right there. Slow letter S. Would I want any of these people, though? Night Owl and Kind. This one might be a good colonist, simply because she could do the jogging. Uh, age 51, she's got some years on her. But she's still got plenty of time left. So I would take Worm. I would take Worm. Yeah. Plenty of time for Worm. My god, please stop throwing up everywhere. Good, good. Okay, now do we have the Psychite refining? Yes, we do. Okay, so then let's go ahead and... Here, here, let's create that. Uh, Psychite T times 4, and we'll do it until we have... I would say, like, 10. That seems fine. Atomic Shark, thanks very much for the three gift subs. God bless. And Hayes MC1, thanks for the prime. And Argots, thanks for the sub. Why don't I cremate corpses? Uh, I'm using these corpses and the corpse room to keep this room dirty so that it hopefully gets infestations to spawn here. I've also been told that furniture increases the chance, but so far we haven't had any infestations whatsoever. It's also been extremely cold in our base for much of the time, which might be preventing much of the infestation from happening. I don't think it's been so cold, so I don't think that's likely, but it is possible. Um, hmm. Ah, yes, we will put the emus, I mean the, uh, what are they? They're yaks. The yaks. It could have been emus. Shame that it wasn't. But it was. It was indeed. Hmm. You could edit it into my very intuitive and dead move in that. Yeah, I could, I could change your ideology. But what I've been kind of experiencing is just that I don't like it that the ideology is a little bit one-dimensional, but it seems as though they've been adding in little patches and things like that that make it more dynamic as the game goes on. So good good for Ludia. Good for Ludia. I always want to say Luden. Like, you know, the cough drop company? You think that inspired Tynan because maybe he had a cough when he was making the game? I don't think that's so unlikely. Mm, who is this? Who is there at my door? Oh, these are royal tribute collectors. Royal tribute collectors just seem like really stuck-up people, if you ask me. You know, I... Where is the money? <laughs> Where is the money? We did absolutely nothing for you. We have a shuttle. Look at how advanced our civilization is. Who cares about going to space anymore when we have all of this down here? All kinds of crazy stuff is happening down here. We're planting Psychite every day. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Betrayal offer Caro. This is new. Has learned that Malakar has several refugees of being... His enemies with once... Oh, hang on a second. I could... Tr but tr this is dynamic and interesting. Hang on a second. Yes, perhaps I will betray this refugee. He is kind of a uh, terrible colonist. Biosculpting we haven't gotten yet. Are we going to... Are we going to get up to that? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking fabrication would be good, so let's do that. Hmm. Why do I mean the ideologies? Oh, because you can't change them after the game has begun, unless if you go into dead mode. The refugee quest is pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, let's try betraying this guy. Uh, he's enemies with Malik and wants to see him dead. He will send you the following reward if I kill all members. Okay, so I have to kill all of my guests. Will there be any... This is a new type of quest. Yes, let's put them all into the corpse room. Hang on a second, let me just... Because I have control over them. He'll give me $500 if I kill my guests. I don't... I'm not really liking these guests as much as I thought I would. Hmm. Though, is it worth it for the labor? I mean, we could create 500 They could probably create $500 worth of stuff with their labor right now, though. I think I'm just going to keep them. They can hang out. Otherwise, I would say yes, because it's interesting. Okay, we've got a... Oh, God damn it, we've got a medium drone. Oh, is it time for the Jubilee of Stone? Hang on a second. No, it's not yet time for the... Soon it will be time, though. Soon and very soon. Uh, let's have a leader speech. This will make everyone happier. Tell us about some stuff. Tell us about some stuff after you put that down. 
but you aren't here and it's already halfway over and you just threw up on the floor. Are you going to even get a chance to make the speech? <laughs> He's just telling everybody about how sick and tired he is of throwing up. It was an encouraging speech. Fantastic. Even after he just... Oh, that was, that was quite funny. Hey, Atomic Shark, thank you very much for the bits. And all the support, it means a lot. There used to be a quest that is less common before the patch that are more common now. Yeah, I, I like the variety. I've seen a good, a good bit of variety. I think overall, the one ideology system can use a little bit more fleshing out. Um, flesh. However, I think overall it's, it's a very nice update. I'm always happy to see an update on the game, and honestly, just the fact that I've spent so much time playing it, I... I hope no one thinks I'm being too critical. I mean, it's really a 10 out of 10 game to me. It's just like minor stuff now. But that's what uh, that's what people want to know about. They want to know about the minutia. They want to know about the minutia. Expand the zone. And then I want to give everybody chain shotguns because they're badass. Mm, chain shotguns. Are we able to create these things yet? I still kind of want the flak jackets more. My god, everybody has been throwing up. Has one of the bad people been doing all of the cooking? Oh, it's because they've been doing cooking. Ah, oh, crap. There's some jobs that you just can't have your guests do. And they're automatically assigned to. Now here, what I want them all doing is hauling and cleaning. Because they've caused enough turmoil and chaos. Look at all the vomit everywhere on our colony. He's so into his own speech that he threw up. Yeah, he threw up. He was getting butterflies before the speech. And it was merely encouraging. Ah, great. Look, get all of those dead bodies in there. Mm, Arcus shape desired. Who desires this Arcus shape? You off to... Uh, God damn it. Low medicine. Hunter lacks range weapon. Worm. Though I do kind of feel like that this colony is stagnated. Like it is... After we lost all of those colonists, I knew that would kind of happen. The place itself is very nice. It's just that it's now kind of uh, not making progress as quickly. I'm trying to think of other things that would get us uh, a little bit further on. Really, I sometimes feel like RimWorld without mods just lends itself to constant begin tree touch gathering. What the hell? Connector will connect with a... Hang on a second. I want to learn about this. Connector will start with a... F depending upon ritual quality. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, this is kind of like nature is beautiful. All right. Let's gather around the tree. Garanlin tree... Uh, Winter has connected with the Garanlin uh, tree. will produce small animals called dryads by growing them in pods at its base. Oh, I have not tried this yet. Dryads can specialize into different casts. Casts? What is this? Hinduism? You can choose which cast of dryads you want the tree. Don't they have a cast? I think so. Are there any other cultures and civilizations with that system? The stronger the connection between the tree and the human, the more dryads occur. Wow! Maintaining a kind. Whoa, this is a neat thing. What if we kill the tree? <laughs> that would really ruin it. Oh, the tree got hit by a mortar. Ah, uh, I might not have wanted to pick Winters for this. Oh, well, it was the first time I was doing it. Choose Dryad cast. Would make... This exists? Uh, wow. This is like Neopets. Barkskin, absorbing hits during combat. Carrier. Oh, wow. Can we have a lot of these things? This is kind of like the uh, worker bots. This seems like a very specific non... This seems more like a mod type of thing than a base game type of thing. A little bit I kind of question that, but it seems very nice. And you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So, off off with you. Um, we don't really need the wood. We've got a lot of it. Let's go ahead and take carriers, just because I always like having a lot of that. Um, okay. I mean, we don't even have any dryads yet. Tantrum on Cheetah, Gronlin Tree, Connection. That's fine, we have visitors who can just do all of our menial tasks for us anyway. Hmm. Pick only one cast per tree. One thing it doesn't emphasize, yeah, I've kind of figured that. But, I mean, can you have multiple trees? Hours per day to maintain five. 
He's just kind of a full-time job staring at a tree. He's literally becoming a full-time tree hugger. I, I feel as though if I were going to do this in a colony, I would like a lot of them. But a uh, very neat thing to be added. I, I think it's cool. Yeah, no complaints. That is that is cool. There's still some help. Yeah, you could still have animals haul. Um, I want to say that that's been changed slightly. My god, look at how filthy this room is. Still somewhat impressive, though. This is why we added more statues into this room. It looks so goddamn good. Let's keep on adding more, because you can never have too many statues in a room. Although it is probably bringing the wealth. Yeah, look, we are getting, like, astronomical wealth. <laughs> that is not good. 89,000. We have almost 100,000. This might even be enough for an Arcotech end, if we wanted it. But I assume that there's more standing in the way. Let's see if these emus, um, fall in love. Fire starting spree. This guy is really kind of a liability. Do we still have people? No, they can still put out fires. Why is no one putting out the fire? Oh, because certain people have reserved the fire. Like, that's my fire. No one touched that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, uh, where do we have Psychite? Okay, now we have Psychite T. Good, we have plenty of Psychite T being created. And then if we have all of that, then let's go ahead and say... Make Smoke Leaf Joint. And then we'll do... I don't know how much flake I want to have in the colony, though. Because it's kind of a low-quality, very addictive drug. I might not even make any at all. Might just be better off selling smoke leaf joints. Because if somebody goes on a binge, uh, the shit could hit the fan. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Wealth is good with astronomical f Yeah, if we get more firepower, it'll be worth it. Well, how are we with components now? 12 components still haven't really come back from that. We have found no crafters, for God's sake, in this entire playthrough. Really thought we would have found a crafter by now. But, I do think I want, to, like, one or two turrets outside of our base. I think what would be a good place for them would be behind the marsh over here. And I'm also going to... We'll fill this in. Let's build a copy of that there. And then we will... Mm, we'll mine out the rest of this wall because I want them to have a clear line of sight over to this area. And we have a tantrum on worm. Okay. God, these people have not really been great. Psychic drone is ending good. Okay, we are back to normal now. Worm, worm. That is a large ass prison cell. My god, you've destroyed everything, worm. Jesus. When are you satisfied? Boring into all of the... See what I did there? Because worms bore into things. That was good, wasn't it? Tattered apparel times three. Honest idol. God, these people are garbage. I should have killed them. When, do I still have that quest where I could kill them? Hang on a second. No, I don't still have that quest. That is unfortunate. I really wanted to kill these guests. They have been such a liability. Hey, Majo. Thanks very much for the prime. Yeah, all my guests. Yeah, the thing is that it's almost like, it's almost like the hospitality mod. You need a place for your colonists to live, and then you need a place for all the crazy people to live, or um, the people who are less crazy than you, rather, I should say, to live. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do security. We're going to build a steel mini turret right out here. I think that this is good because it saves them from the marsh, and people have a harder time getting to this turret. Uh, we'll put it right there. But I don't want to make it easy for them to get over to it. Also, probably put one on the other side just because I'm kind of OCD like that and I want it done. That's good. And then we'll just have to connect over some power lines to them. Now, these things can become kind of a liability too. And oh my god, we'll stop fighting my people! Good. Win. Carry them away. Take them away. Odd Potato, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. No longer they had hit him. Mm. Occasions where somebody being literally stabbed in the brain caused them to... Oh, yeah. Sometimes colonists will enter like an idiot savant state, or I can't remember what exactly they call it, where they'll be really good at something, but really terrible at everything else. 
because they get hit, uh, shot in the head. Which is just very interesting. But also kind of like, what? Like, what is... Yeah. My god. Wow. That is quite generous and very much unmerited. Thank you very much to the anonymous for 10 gift subs. Sheesh. What can I do for you? Thank you. How... How, uh... How extremely noble, really. Anonymity. There is someone named Anonymous in this chat, though, right? I had a trauma savant that gained a lot of social, but his wound destroyed his ability to speak. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Like, uh, you know, the diving bell and the butterfly kind of thing. That sort of effect. Ah, some components right under my nose. Right under my nose. Now, what I sort of figure with this... Is that, you know, it's better to have a really solid defense strategy. Now, like, we are... Severe, we are seriously inside of this mountain. No one would question that we are in this mountain. But at the same time, it's like... We just need to kind of fan out our defenses over this one area. And we should be okay. I think I'm also going to try to just smooth everything out. But it's starting to look more like a real castle defense. Which is kind of exciting. You know, I've always wanted that for this game. Let's even smooth out some of this area over here. Smooth out this garbage, smooth out this. Mm, and probably this over here as well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, people have fewer and fewer things to hide behind now. Because we've made everything smooth. My word, Jesus Christ! That's another, that's another ten uh, gift subs. God bless, thank you very much. Appreciate it a lot. Ah, oh, very nice. Wow. Thank you. That's, yeah, that's a whopping 20 gift subs. Thank you very much. I'll say, uh, this in my own, uh, well, for what we're doing for the channel. We are getting some more emoji made by the fantastic art of distant cacophony. Um, so, uh, it's been fun. It's been fun streaming. You know, getting into the kind of, Twitch kind of sits at its own table, you know? It's like, uh, it's a neat place, but I, I've, I've liked it for what it does. And I'm just glad that we can kind of bring that over with the VODs to YouTube. So. TMI.twitch.tv U-S-E-R-N-O-T-I-C-E hash ambiguous amphibian. This is very, uh, somewhat foreboding, but yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, I am very, uh, I am a little bit scared of that message from... <laughs> no, but thank you very much for all the gift subs. Thank you. Hmm. I've got the power. Nit, 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 nit. Dang, dang a lang, dang a langs, man. Thanks very much for the sub. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Mad doe. Not anymore. That doe's dead. We need to set all of our colonists to attack. Good. This has been my, this has been my, I don't like it when they just kind of stand there and don't do anything. Except for who's the guy with the EMP grenades? He'll be like Brick from Anchorman. Brick, where did you get a hand, a hand grenade? Hmm, how do we make this impassable? It's becoming more of a headache than anything else. Hmm. Do I have anyone nearby to trade with? Maybe when we get some of that psychite, we will. Ah, look at this amazing steel allocation. Good. The colony is starting to become more and more organized. Ah, I've waited long. I've waited long for a... Uh, we happen to have a guy in a mental break right now, but let's see if we can find somebody else with decent social skills. Strangely, Malakar is very good with social, despite the fact that he's doing a lot of antisocial things. Hey, Aragorn, thank you very much for the... Oh, Jesus Christ, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, wow. You have my ear indeed. You have my ear indeed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is far more than I... Uh, wow. I will not be outdone, you gracious no-name saint. That is... Hang on, I am going to need to pause the game because that is quite, that is quite a lot of money. Modern Totem, thank you very much. Well, the anonymous gifts that is that is quite a lot of money. Thank you for the ten thousand bits. That is quite a lot. We had a little conversation the other day. 
I, uh... Hmm. I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. Four score... No, I'm, I'm not going to give a speech. Thank you very much. It means a lot. You you have my... I'm going to have to give you both of my ears now, I think. Uh, it'll be like Van Gogh times two. Jesus Christ. Hang on a second. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Like I said, I'm trying to invest, invest it back into the channel. I've got some ideas planned for once the internet connection is better. Which it seems we have still been dropping some frames this stream, but I promise I'll use it for good stuff. Thank you very much. Please do tell me what you most enjoy. Well, actually, I did hear about that. Was it the um, was the tour solo? I mean, will I be back with another tour solo? This is a question. Maybe there could be like a tour solo part too. But either way, I don't know. It just kind of like puts me in the right direction. I want to make sure that I that I. Uh, I keep making content for the right reasons, you know, for the right, for the right, uh, for my most avid supporters. So it means a lot. Mm, parkas. Can we sell all of this? Mm, raccoon meat. Any plans on story-driven series for the YouTube like the CS? That's been my one thing that I feel like we've lost out on with more of the segmented com content, Fragdar. And that's just kind of on the note of what I was talking with Modern Totem about the other days. I do kind of miss having more characterization in the characters that I would create that would kind of develop as the story went on. Tour squad leader. People like this. And I, I think that's something that I'm going to need to replace somehow on the channel. I don't really want these yaks, to be honest with you. So maybe on that note, maybe we'll head in that direction. But God, streaming has been a lot of fun, I gotta say. Like, just... Damn. It's nice to just get on here and just kind of hang out. Are you winning Father Toad? I would say so. I would say so. Damn. Atomic Shark, Papa J. Crazy One Beltran. Thanks for the primes and the subs. How tedious was recording Torsolo? Actually, Torsolo is very fun and easy to record. Um, oh, we got another Devil Strand Veil. This would be good. Cloth Tribal head Headdress. No, Torsolo was, uh... I actually created that when I was done with work for several days. Like, I did it after work, which was a surprise. That one just kind of slid out, you know? Like, no wipe required. It was just a clean series. Because I was... I had, like, a creative inspiration, but... Maybe someday again. Pokemon run in Kenshi sounds fun. One dude with as many animals as possible. Oh, like the Nigel Thornberry run. <laughs> I was thinking of doing like Dog Man, or we did it with Crab Man. I was disappointed that Crab Man didn't do better, but I think I, Crab Man needed more time for his character to develop. Mm, little bit VC, thanks for the gift sub. And Officer Jenkins for the uh, for the 500 bits. I don't know. Can she Zomboid Rimworld? I would like to get in CDDA somehow, though. But yeah, what I've just been kind of doing over the last couple of weeks was that when the channel does very well, which I had a video get very promoted, it kind of makes me like, uh, like I feel like everything has to do that well. So it it takes me a while for the expectations to lower back down, but gradually over time, I, I like to think that things are improving. But it's been a lot of fun though, the last, uh, the last year and kind of transitioning into everything. I gotta say that RimWorld is one of those games where I've never gotten, uh, any really strong characterization. You know, I think the strongest characterization was on one like Orange. So I'm hoping that there will be more mods where it's like, uh, you can develop more of a character. You see what I'm saying? Like, in Zomboid I can characterize more, in Kenshi I can characterize in more. But, my god, look, the Dryad Cocoon. Oh, here they come! The little carrier people. I like that. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mmm. 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 Wowzers. Hang on a second. Whoa, Odd Potato, thank you very much for those ten gift subs. God bless. Man, I gotta do- we gotta do something special for one of the upcoming community streams. I gotta get that Kahoot ready again or something. Once this bitrate stops fluctuating around so crazy, thank you very much. And Zanpog for the Prime. Hmm. Characterize more in Zomboid. Yeah, I don't know what it, like, when I say characterize things, I mean that you can see more of the character's face in a game like Zomboid or Akenshi. I, I only bring this up because my friend uh, Spiffing Brit brought this up when he was talking about 
Paradox's marketing campaign for Crusader Kings 3, and how part of their plot was actually to say that players need to be able to create more of like a, a characterization story. Or a character. Yeah, I've been streaming for a while. I'm not making as much sense as I was before. But you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's a little harder to do that sometimes in RimWorld, just because you don't really feel like you have an up close and personal relationship with the colonists. I feel like ideology is going to do a bit more of that. But we'll see what uh, we'll see what mods bring. Hmm. Friend, you showed you stuff a couple months ago. I watched almost all of the series in a few days while I worked. Hey, thanks, Fragdar. Hmm. Anyway, the one I've been working on the last couple of days has been Survival Island in Zomboid. I always find that it helps me kind of get away from things if I just, uh, or do better if I just kind of get away from everything and, I don't know, like skateboard or something. Just do something that kind of clears my mind. Speaking of which, here in Florida, there are some nice skate parks. Might head out for a bit. Then do some Zomboid survival. Thank you very much, guys. This is uh, an out outstandingly generous, uh, generous audience i i once again i i just want to say i i never expect anyone to give anything for coming to the streams but it's always totally appreciated that was quite a lot um uh felt like there was something more i had to say never expected though um it 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 means a lot to me and it's just outstandingly generous hmm hmm <laughs> good cleaning is happening hmm I will tell you my secret plan. I would love to get a game dev, a game dev who you probably know, to come on to a stream once, if I could. That was actually my idea for one of the uh, charity streams that we did before. We had a really good charity stream the last time we did it. Um, and I would like to make that kind of thing happen more often. But if we could make it more of like a special event by actually inviting somebody we don't normally have to the channel. I've got a couple collabs coming up with some friends, but... Uh, there, there's a lot of indie developers I'd really love to hit up, if any of them would ever have a time. Um, just people on several of the games that I play, but uh, most of them are really nice folks. Um, so I'm just hoping we can get that done. Anyway, that's the kind of surprise I've been planning. I haven't said it in a while, but just this is outstandingly generous, so I wanted to give something up. Anyway, um, so that is my plan. That is my plan. I have still not really done any canvassing, but... That would be amazing. If it does happen, I will make a lot of announcements on it on Discord if, if I ever manage to get anything to happen. Mm -hmm. With this wall good, we are getting more components. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Mm. My colony goals are somewhat ambiguous. Yeah, you know, we've just been kind of plotting away now. Let's go ahead and do some, uh, let's go ahead and do some scouting again. Let's actually get this quest done. Damn. Hang on a second. Do we have the, the good the caravan? Go on. Get out of here, you. Uh, this is only the one where they need to do some basic hacking. So we could get ambushed here, but it is very dangerous. Yes, I will I will uh, say that again. 0. 0.7 days, but we have two days of food. That is good. Good. Okay. Reform, excuse me, reform the caravans. Aurora. Atomic Shark, thank you very much for the five gift subs. God bless, my friend. God bless. Thank you. That is that is quite a Jesus. Jesus, hang on a second. Can you ping me on the Can you ping me on the Discord, please? Because I want to just hear more. I say this often, but if if people are uh, this is outstandingly generous. Just at least let me know what more you want to see of, at the very least. S E Pay, thank you for the five hundred bits. And Jeremy for the Prime. Hmm. Okay, good. Go, my people. Go, my people, onto greener fields and pastures new. We will f reforge uh, some kind of covenant when we get there. With whatever uh, deity we worship. This is to be the quest of ideology. To reform the... Oh, damn. Cheese, cheese, Louise. Cheese, Louise. Mia, thank you for the prime and little bit VC for the 25 gift subs. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Can we get some, can we get some, uh, can we get some of the new emojis in the chat? God bless. If you're getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Little bit, thank you very much for the, God damn. This is, 
This is outstanding. This is outstanding. <laughs> we will use this to create more granite spike traps. My god, I should get a granite spike trap emoji made. Of just a shaking granite... Jesus, thank you very much. Please ping me. Uh, no, the Discord's right down below. If you if you could just ping me, though. Thank you very much, little bit. Jesus Christ. Dan Wizard for the 200 bits. Mm, yes, good. More amphibians in the chat. Ah. Over the river and through the woods we go. Damn. Well, this is... Hang on a second. I'm. I might have to stop the stream and just. Ah, uh, but we're no. I don't. I don't. We. We'll keep it in Rimworld. I might have to shoot the Doomsday rocket launcher. Damn. Hang on a second. Wait. We're being raided at the same time. Oh no. Just mad wild boars. Hang on a second. Aragorn eight thirty with the with the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Damn. Very well. Very happy to support you. Love all the content. I'm happy it did. What it helped you enjoy. Whatever you enjoy more. Speaking of which... Mm, mm, hang on a moment. Worm? Oh, wait. Actually, you are expendable, Worm. You can just die. Bourbon. We have bourbon here. Let's just let this raid happen, because I'm not really concerned for these people. Let's just let them die. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Got my payday the other day. Gotta use it. Oh, only, only if you can use... Only, honestly, guys, I never want you to put yourselves at any kind of financial financial need but if you if you're uh if it makes you happy then i'll uh i'll use it for more good content thank you that means a lot skyrimosity very much thanks for the sub or for the prime regardless it is what it is oh god wait a minute why do these boars just attack a fence hang on a second malakar uh yeah you go you go off to <laughs> off to timbuktu with you all right, yeah, you know, you can die. That's all right. Hmm. Hang on a second. Hey, everyone get over to this oddly misshapen relic or ruin or whatever it is. That's what I meant before. Please, never give anything if, if it puts you at any financial necessity. But I, I appreciate it, and I will put it more toward the content. Hmm. They'll all depart if he dies. Oh, well, great. I, I don't like him anyway. Good. I, I don't want him here. Get rid of him. Hang on a second. Uh, you, Winters, you stay right there. You just... You stay drafted. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot that we had all those turrets, too. Good worm. You go after him. I don't care if we mess up the quest anyway. There we are. Fantastic. Okay, uh, inside with you people. Hmm... Now we'll be back in no time. It'll be fine. <laughs> no, I love productively messing up quests in this game. Mm, Fabio is seeming extremely mysterious now. Well, where is that? I'm just gonna leave them all in here. Are we gonna? Are we gonna die? Mm, hang on a second. That was in the other room. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong. Mm, Se Pay, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. And Stitch anthrop Anthropophage for the 500 bits. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Wall down. Eat or sleep, if you will. Not assigned to constructing. You never will do constructing. Deconstruct this steel wall. Hmm. I can open... I know. I, I neglected to do it. Hmm, we should do that. My thing is, I always get medicine, but is there anything good in here? We got some tech prits before, actually, now that you mention it. Hmm. Ah, another terminal. Good hack. Hack inside. Pods arriving. And what did we get over here? Oh, neutro aiming. That's not bad. Okay, we are being raided now, though. This is very... Small. This man is a small burb. We are being raided by a small burb with green hair. He's like a tree hugger. Why would he raid us? I kind of question that whole ideology because there's some combat in Rimworld. Let's just F this guy's day up. I'm here to F up your day, man. Uh, that is done. Quest available. Awesome edifice. 
Good. Who cares what's happening at home, really? Oh, wait a minute. Winters is still drafted. We got to undraft him. You go ahead. Do whatever you want, Winters. Is that guy dead? Yep, he died immediately. Wow. He was carrying all of this jade. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get out of here. Hmm, okay, there we are. World, reform caravan. And go, damn you. Hmm, neutro, I mean, bring the neutro, I mean, with you and the jade. That seems fine to me. Okay, send them off. Goodbye, people. Hmm. Hmm. Can I open that thing in the middle of the blue? Ah, I did that, yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, good. Okay, we've made them our enemies. Oh, no. He's in the battery room, though. Mm, you go over here. Uh, wait a second. Uh, did not count on this happening quite like this. Hang on a second. You bring out the steel spear, and you just get ready. We need the old man and the young man to join together and fight this gentleman named Armadillo. Who just immediately collapsed for some reason. Mm. There we are. UPS. Are we getting delivered something in the chat? <laughs> mm, betrayal reward. Oh, we did get the betrayal reward. Fantastic. Oh, he gave us an LTEX shirt. That's not that bad. Alright, I'll allow it. That's fine by me. Praise our moist skinned overlord. Thank you for those 500 bits, Anthropophage. Hmm. Methinks new quest has become... Ah, uh, okay, this is the last one for the Mono Sword, though, right? We should do this. Wait, this is very exciting. This would be like the penultimate thing. You've detected an orbiting space drone that may contain information about Dim Mono Sword. You have the code that will force it to land at Mount 2 to get the information hacked into the drone's computer. Javelins, they aren't very scary. They're just pirates. As long as it's present, they'll send attackers. Okay, every eight hours. This is more information. Explain. Destroy it and steal the wealth they think it contains. Uh, you've detected. Okay, so it's going to land here. Hacking takes time, but those strong in intellectual skill can speed up the process. Pirates and the javelins will detect it. Okay, so they're going to attack every eight hours at our base if we. Don't do it, I guess. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll wait until our people come back, though, before we accept this quest. So we'll just give it them... We'll give them till like, tomorrow morning or something. That'll probably be for the best. Very safe. Very safe. We opened the door too quickly and surprised him. Yeah, that guy got killed by, like, the light of the door opening. Hmm. Finally, these neck... Yes, these neckbeards have been chasing after a katana for... What I would say is... What is it now? Two years? A year or two? I think it has been that long. It's been a while. We're about to have the second Jubilee of Stone. Yeah, I think it's two years. Hey, Hawkton. Thanks very much for the hundred bits. I can't recommend... Uh, P music. Yeah, the OST does get kind of a, a repetitive after a while. But perhaps that's just because RimWorld is a game that you could just play for so long. And it never really gets old. Do other folks... I mean, if I weren't streaming it or anything like that... So many of my RimWorld hours have been for content or streamed... That I haven't really thought much about what to listen to... When I wasn't playing it. But I suppose I'd just play something else of different kind of ambient background music. If I did more... Hmm. The meals are coming along. Good. Hmm... Need five bits of info. This would be the last one. This would be the last info about the mono sword. I should accept this too. But is it going to happen immediately? Royal Ascent. Goodwill. We don't really care about the goodwill. As soon as people get back. Pirates from the Javelins will detect the drone's energy signature. Uh, this is very strange. I've never seen a drone in this game land. I will say that first off. How much more time do we have to accept this? It doesn't have a... 
Oh, it'll self-destruct in 30 days. So I assume that means we have 30 days to accept it? Either that or it might mean that once it lands, the space drone will then e explode in 30 days. Can't really tell which one, but let's just give everybody a little bit of time to get back up to speed. Happy again. Happier and with their mouths open. Good. We'll also expand this zone so that we have more mushrooms. My god, these people eat nothing but mushrooms. And we'll also see if we can convert hippopotamus. Expectations mo- Ah, so she won't- Hmm. Let's clean this room before we start trying to convert someone. Fabio can also convert. Where is Hippopotamus? Go. Go to Fabio. To be converted. Good. 72% now. And then the conversion room is clean. Oh. That is unfortunate. Huh. I think because I clicked into the conversion menu... Did it say that it took another three days because I examined it? That seems a little odd. Maybe I did it wrong. Can we have a general art chat in the Discord? I uh, love just sharing and discuss artworks with great community. I would consider it. I would consider it. If we could frame it in a certain way, like I've enjoyed the fan art channel. When we had an old generic art channel, it was somewhat useful but then it also just sort of became unrelated so if we could think of a way to make it like active and relevant then yes i would say but it also just kind of became a, a place where people would constantly post anime boobs uh which was just like ah, all right that's enough of that now um which there's nothing wrong with that but it was also kind of like uh became vague for modding but yeah that is that is <laughs> that is the the reason why we don't have just a generic art channel channel in general. Um, but yeah, if you can frame it in, in a good way that it is more relevant to the channel, then yes. Um, but, it, but again, that, that does require a lot of stipulations, unfortunately, if that makes sense. <laughs> the convert skill being on CD. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, anime boobs. But it's just not very relevant to this channel, unfortunately. There is that one guy who makes it relevant to all of his videos, though. Who is that guy again? What was his name? I can't remember. There's some guy out there. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, like some... Uh, wait a second. Flash storm. Flash storm. Hmm. 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 No, not our Garulin tree. Morphing immature dryad one into carrier dryad. So this is what an immature dryad looks like. Yeah, something like that. Winters. There you go. Alright, me thinks let's accept the drone now. Yeah, I hate like shutting down ideas. That's I, I I hate to do that. But sometimes it's just like uh I don't have a plan which scares me. Which scares me at times. Though I don't want to sound like a prude or a or a slob, if that makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. Disease, fibrous. Okay, let's just tend these. Tend these uh, diseases. And we're also going to need what appears to be more. Yes, more. Keel root. There we are. Good. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can tell the drone where to land. Okay, we're going to go into quests now. Except for info about Dim Mono Sword. Space drone incoming. What will this... Whoa, that wasn't where I would have expected it to be. But okay, uh, let's see if we can get... Who is our best researcher? Bourbon is very good at this. So his intellectual speed is... And I'm glad that they gave intellectual some... Like, power. His hacking speed is 121%. We excel at hacking. What are the stats of the combat command? I don't really know. Have they have they led on any more about it? Effect duration. Ah, I should have waited more time for this then. Boost the combat skills of everyone nearby. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, I don't have really any more information on that. Hmm. Send you back. Eventually, we'll get somebody else to hack it. But this is... This is actually quite neat. I haven't tried this yet. Let bourbon sleep. Ambrosia sprout. Eh, Ambrosia's okay, but... Eh, it might be good for one of our guys. No sewing. Delete, delete, delete. No sewing. No sewing. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, research... Well, one thing that's great about research is that they can always just... Uh, what was I going to say? They can always grind it, more or less. There are some skills that it's... Ah, uh, wait. We're being raided by the Javelins. Okay, so now we need to get this thing finished hacking because apparently it's just going to stay here until we finish hacking it. I thought that meant once we finished hacking it, then they would... You know what I mean? Get her, bringing out all the king's horses and all the king's men now. A uh, spoon, actually, you just kind of stand back there. See what they do with these. Okay, they are just staying there. Good. The, this was not all in vain. Yeah, just keep researching. I want this. I want this done. Hmm. Uh, what? What would the health change? Oh, combat command. Shooting accuracy plus 3.0. Oh, and melee hit chance. Okay, so it increases the accuracy. I don't know what the n exact numbers mean. Do I have a technologist with the research order? I don't know if that helps with hacking, but... Uh, I don't think I do have a technologist with the research order. But thank you, though. Is that like one of the more specific powers that I have still have yet to find? Ah, oh, God, they are mining through. Now, this is sort of a normal vanilla thing. They would do this at times anyway. But this is just kind of a, an annoying way that they happen to be doing it. We will set them off on you. Set two, Let's get it right in the face of this guy. Set two off there and set one over there. Okay, somehow you got in there, so we'll just send you to that guy. And we're going to F your day up. Good. He is dead and down. What is this? Granite wall blueprint? We'll allow that. Everyone else come over here. It looks like you're going to come in through this doorway, though. Ah, they probably all will. The indecision of RimWorld combat. Mm, there we go. Okay, and he didn't really want to come through. You get back in on the other side. Nice. All right, fantastic. But they're going to attack again in another eight hours, so we need to steal ourselves against them. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like that they buffed intellectual and social, which I do think were kind of one-dimensional skills. Like, they, they had pretty much only one use before this. Spoon, you get back in here, man. Active diplomacy. Uh, talk with the nearby... Uh, we, were, we just kind of want the mono sword. Let's see if we can get the mono sword. Hmm. Like using the... Yeah, it does feel kind of like playing 40k. Like there's so many abilities to choose from that it's almost just overwhelming. Nugfur is out there. And the only danger is if Bourbon like breaks. He's stressed right now. Why don't you go ahead and just do something else? And then I'll send in Trenchacam. She's the other one who has decent... Yes, she also has very good research ability. So we'll use her for the rest of it. And she is not about to snap. That's good. Version ritual, 1.5 more days. Very good, very good. Social having use in rituals and leadership buffs, buffs is a very good addition. Yeah, I think the whole like colony dynamic of them being a community and all together and not just a bunch of individuals has been improved. Or like, you know, people aren't just bad for no reason. Uh, like there's always some way that you can bring somebody back with enough conversion. Bloodlust, nimble. Careful shooter, gay. Mm, we could use that social stat. And the crafting, too. This would be a good colonist. If we can keep uh, mommy. Is it mammy? Yeah, it's mommy. Okay, yeah, we want to we get mommy into our colony. Great name. Great to get mommy in here. Okay, everybody, let's go get mommy. Hang on a second. We're almost done hacking. Go over there. Uh, you go over there. My god, he looks so tough in this. He looks like a bandit. Uh, hang on a second. 
that seems safe enough to me, yes. Uh, damn it. Hang on a second. Uh, you go in there. You fight him. You back him up. Uh, you're, you're the backup, yeah. Good. Okay, uh, let's see if we can go get her. Hang on a second. After her! God, my people are so fast! Jesus. Hang on a second. Uh, oops. Yes! Good! Bring her down. Bring her down, my people. Uh, you go back to the base. Ah, damn it. They are too good at combat now. They are killing everyone. That's actually quite upsetting. Mm -hmm. Came across my YouTube channel with Project Zomboid whilst I'm dealing with COVID. Hey! I hope you I hope you get better, Naz. Thank you very much. Thanks, X people. Dance party ritual is kinda OP if I have the option to find an ancient complex at a good party. Ramolson. Hey, how are you? Social roles does my ideology have. We have a priest and do we have anything else? I really don't know more about our ideology. We have like the leader as well as the priest role. Oh, we also have the mining specialist, so those are our three roles. Would be neat to get more roles in the ideology, though. I think that was a pretty powerful element. Like, Fabio, Winters, and Spoon are all now thoroughly good. Okay, this thing is gonna... Get away from that. Get away from that. How big is this explosion gonna be? Get away from that. This is neat. Oh, we get time. Oh, we get plenty of time. Ten. Oh, that wasn't really that large. Relic found, dim mono sword. Okay, now we can go on the quest. Finally learn the location of the relic, dim mono sword. Ah, we've been waiting for this for so long. Finally. Could always devote roles. We could switch them around too. Hmm. Quest completed. I think I would change a lot though for my next playthrough. Where is it? The relic is housed by an ancient structure. It is protected with the security system with multiple independent units. You may try to defeat the security forces one unit at a time before taking the relic or try to grab it and flee before it can... This is... Good. Okay, so we need to get into that place, like, now. We, we don't have much time. Well, let's go ahead and just form a caravan right now. Uh, I don't really want to find out what the security threats are. We will go there, and it'll take us 0. 0.6 days. Do we have enough food to bring in all my decent colonists? Right, let's bring in a, a bunch just for good measure. We'll leave winters and bourbon here because they are 1.6 days worth of food. Let's just leave back one more. Rotten 0. 0.9. Uh, I would rather that their food rot. And that they run out of food a little bit rather than have to activate all those security things. On it, quite honestly, because it's it's much worse if they activate the security stuff. Uh, winters. I will assign Winters to cooking, though, again. Good. Okay, Winters will do some cooking once he feels better. Is he feeling better now? He's not feeling better. Okay, just cook meals now, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's kind of crazy how many quests we had to go for, on for that because we still have more relics to find in our culture. I'm kind of curious to see what the reliquary does. I was thinking that we would be able to use those weapons in combat like more frequently somehow or it would give them a buff. But I didn't think we would devote like 10 hours of play just to getting a single dim mono sword. That seems like a bit much to me, to be quite honest with you. Um, but, you know, we'll find out now. They are going for the quest. It's like Excalibur or something. Hippopotamus, why are you bad? Why are you so slow? I leave. Leave anyway. Hmm. Oh, did we have meals in the wrong storage? Yeah, you're right. They didn't bring meals into the... Hmm. Ah, why are they... Ah, that's true. That's true. Whoops, thank you. Yep, we aren't supposed to have any foods there. That must have been left over from before. I wonder why they didn't bring in those foods, though, anyway. We'll just give them some time to get that... Hang on a second. Thank you. We. I don't know why I left that for so long. Haul all of these. Oh, that was embarrassing. 
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why they didn't even detect those meals in the stockpile. The thing is that they really aren't going to starve, even if they don't eat for like a couple of hours. They'll be fine. Uh, but they should be they, they should be fine for the trip there is what I'm trying to say. Uh, as far as the return back goes, you can always bring in another caravan meeting your main caravan. I'm just playing kind of sloppy here. But uh, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Wealth on this colony is pretty good now. It's coming up. Generating map for new encounter. Okay, let's zoom in. Ah. Oh. Sleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Do we have we do have we have two melee colonists. Yeah, I know. I didn't I didn't expect centipedes. But we can't save if this is to be our ultimate battle. That's really the only centipede, though. One centipede here I think we could at least escape from. Uh, five seconds to extract the mono sword. Let's give it to somebody better. Nugfer is the actual melee colonist. Let's let him do it. Go in there, Nugfer. Security systems are waking up. I think we could just avoid the security systems, though. Get out the mono sword. Can we take this thing, too? Limestone reliquary. Ah, if we could build it out of other stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's just deconstruct it really quick. You do that. Everybody else is going to eat a meal. Fabio, go ahead and just deconstruct that. I think we can get out of here before this thing even shoots us. Famous last words. Uh, hang on a second. Nugfer, you go over there. You guys get over here. We're going to have to kind of play monkey in the middle here if I want to get this stuff out of here. Um, all right. <laughs> Fantastic. Can I just have you pick this up? Good. I just want the gold. Uh, then you guys deconstruct this. Uh, nobody's assigned to construct. Okay. You are the constructor. You go here. You go here. You go here. And we're going to get you out of there. Yeah. Probably. Ooh, don't let him shoot us. Okay, this is like... Uh... Well, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we barely managed to escape that only because the centipedes are so slow. <laughs> yep. That was fantastic. Odd Potato, thank you very much for the 100 bits. <laughs> yeah, we, we narrowly avoided that one. That was kind of exciting, though. You know, there is kind of like a stealth element here at play, which hasn't been in the game for quite a while. Do we have enough food left? Rotten point four days, so then they'll have enough left for the return journey. Cool. Um, what does he have in his inventory? What do you have as gear? Mm, items. Dim monosaur. Okay, so what is the information on this? Dim monosaur. Engraving on this weapon represents the deer eating a yam. Rectangular. Str the hell? What does that have to do with our faction? Melee's damage per second, 19.93. Armor penetration, 136. What is their spear for reference? Mm, what does a spear do? Hang on a second. What was it again? Items. Dim mono sword. This was 19.93, 136. Remember those numbers. What is a knife, for example? Okay, yeah, this mono sword is uh, pretty strong, pretty strong. I don't remember what it was on a plasteel spear, but let's uh, figure it out. Huge relic buff for the colony. I mean, we I haven't seen anybody else get a relic yet. That's kind of exciting. Maybe there's like some better ones though. Spoon. What do you have? Uh, can we find somebody with a spear? Okay, so for example, Cheetah has a decent spear on him. So I'm just trying to figure out if this relic was even worth it. 7.3. Oh, wow. This mono sword is way better than anything that we have. Plasteel spears still might be better, but... Or or better still than the other weapons we have. But, I mean, if you can get a mono sword in the base game, mono swords, any type of, like, plasma sword is non-craftable. Which I think is a little annoying. I, I would enjoy it if there were... I mean, there are mods that allow you to craft them, is what I'm trying to say. But, cool. 
I wonder if they can, like, leave it in the reliquary and then bring it out for battles. Yeah. Mono swords are really good. <clears throat> I mean, at least when I've seen them with, like, cataphract armor, there's some people who are practically indestructible when they have, uh, what is it, a mono sword and just some decent armor on. Ah. Yeah, melee is way underrated. Just kind of in conclusion here, I know I've used melee a good bit in this colony. It's really good. You should always use melee. Have multiple melee colonists from the beginning. I know it's not that great early game, but it's weird how it becomes more powerful late game. Plasma Sword. Plasma Sword, I think, is even better. Idle Caravan. Oh, do we have an idle caravan? No, I think they've just stopped for the night. Caravans usually do that. Idle caravan. Though your caravan will stop if everybody gets like a disease in it or something. Or it'll slow down, but if they all go on a mood break, it'll stop. And they ran out of food. Okay, this is fine. You don't always have to have the perfect amount of food to get right back. Uh, they will be a little bit antsy by the time they get back to our base. But they should be able to survive. Uh, are we... Oh, they were idle. My bad. I totally missed that up. Thank you for saying that. Why did they just stop in place? That was quite disturbing. Hmm. Yep, it was idle then. What else do we want to do? I'd say that this base is pretty well defended. I could go on to... My thing is that I don't think that blood and dust is hard enough, but I think that losing is fun is too hard. <laughs> so it's like that narrow line of difficulty that I just... I don't really want to put it up to losing is fun unless if I have a lot of uh, penoxicillin, but I just think that it's such a, like a weird item to require a lot more of. Either that or we need more medicine. But that could be good because then our doctors get more experience. So many trade-offs. Hmm. Anything else to take care of back at the base here? The caravan is back. Let's see what happens when they get the uh, relic there. And then I'm going to create a relic quarry. And I'm probably going to convert the last person who's not part of our ideal religion. Who is that? Yeah, Hippopotamus. We've left her as a member of old archism for quite some time. Her expectations have risen this, and we have the participants. So we have a decent chance at this. Let's begin it. See if we can get it to happen. Yeah, oddly enough, still no infestations. Okay, we've put her on the ground. Let's see if we can uh, convert her to our religion now. <laughs> This is always just tricking me as a very odd process. Masterful conversion ritual. Nice. And I think that always... Does that always convert? She should be one of us now. Yep. Now we have a full colony of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 8 devout neckbeard mole people. This is going to make our colony hopefully flourish for a while. But I like how it takes a little bit longer to get everybody's mood set. Right. And you have other bonuses that you can take advantage of, uh, or that you can take advantage of as you go throughout. Oh, wow, that is quite a lot of steel. Let's expand that zone just to kind of see how much there is. Um, 37. Can we create a reliquary now? Would it be under miscellaneous? Reliquary, we need 75 gold. Where is the mono sword though? So this is a legendary. I wonder if all of the objects are automatically legendary. This is the highest value of the game. It's worth five thousand dollars. Cuts through even thick armor with ease, and its lightweight permits fast attacks. This thing is so cool. I almost don't trust a colonist with it. Do they have any kind of mood buff? Because they Wielding steel spear. So what happens if I give Cheetah this mono sword? This is a relic. This would be like Aragorn with Anduril or something like that. Wielding dim mono sword. So I am wielding a dim mono sword, such a noble weapon, but that's still the same thing for the spear because they like sharp melee objects. Um, Am I gonna am I gonna call the playthrough there? I want to see what this system does, but I do feel like that we've taken the neckbeards about their full extent. Lucky dangerous, thanks very much for the prime. I listen. I could keep going with this colony, 
and it could get very powerful. But this has been kind of my goal all along, was to just recover a relic. And now that we do have this legendary steel uh, Dim Mono Sword, does it actually have a name to it? It's just called Dim Mono Sword. We can't name it. That would be kind of neat if we could name it. Though I think that they do sometimes name their own bonded weapons. Can you imagine like a Mono Sword that was bonded to its owner? That's also a relic. That could be a serious mood buff. Be a really strong uh, colonist. Why gonna go? Why not go for the new ending? Because we don't actually have the uh, Arcotech ideology. If we did, I would. But um, eh, I don't. I don't know. I don't really play Rimworld for the endings anymore. I just kind of play it for the. Uh, I don't know, making an interesting colony. Uh, as for our reliquary, I am going to just cheat myself in now because I think I'm going to call it there. Um, but I do want to see, because I don't really want to wait for another trader. I'm just going to give myself some gold. Uh, let's see, gold. Spawn. Or what is it again? Uh, uh, 25? Stack of 25. Let's do gold. G-O-L-D. Shame on me. I know I'm using dev mode. Uh, just because I think it's going to take a while to get it. Let's see if we can create that reliquary, though. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. And load game. I do I do regret making this permadeath. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to go back to mods. One of the reasons I'm not going to do any more of this is because I'm tired of playing vanilla. Uh, I've had to deal with this nightmare for the entire time. <laughs> and I just kind of want mods that make the game go a little bit easier. And I also pick colonists that aren't really... I don't have much attachment to them. We just wanted to pick people that were interesting for ideology. Or we wanted to explore the ideology, so that made sense. Oh, we're going to go ahead into Reliquary. And I suppose that we should put this in their temple, right? Hmm, let's reinstall this here. And here. Winters will hopefully go ahead and just reinstall those super quick. Good. And then let's create this steel Reliquary. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll do steel. We have so much steel anyway. How much steel do we have? We have 3,400 steel. I probably should not be using it, but if my playthrough runs there. If a zombie out outbreak happened IRL, what would I use as a weapon in the beginning? I think I have some idea for a fan. Uh, actually, speaking of which, I have the Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks on my desk. Very funny book with a lot of good writing. What did he recommend? Uh, probably like an M4. M4A1. Yeah, I would probably need to go uh, find an assault rifle. That would be my weapon. But do you mean like a melee weapon? Can't go wrong with a World War I trench spike. Probably the best weapon of the zombie apocalypse. Uh, very grotesque weapon, really. But damn. Mm. Zombie Survival Guide. But if you have not read it, I, I do recommend the Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. It is quite a funny book. World War Z? I, I thought World War Z... I thought it was okay. I, I like the Zombie Survival Guide better, personally. But uh, World War Z was probably one of the best, like, prose ones. I didn't really read many of the other ones. This is nothing like the... There's nothing like a good zombie movie. Uh, okay, so here is the reliquary. Contents nothing. Good bourbon. Well, let's see how his mood became. So he's okay with having... Install steel mono sword. This was something I was also wondering about as well. Hmm. What does this do for the room? Extremely impressive. Doesn't really improve the room by so much. That's surprising that it doesn't improve it more. Ceremonial building that protects and displays a relic. Relics are ancient objects venerated by believers of a certain religion. Work to build 667, cover effectiveness. What does it really do, though? If we... Yeah, we could have Cheetah wield the mono sword. So I suppose that it's like a relic, but if we wanted to take it out and use it in battle, that also seems like it would work. I don't think we would want to use it a lot. Hello. Except for, like, really important battles. That's kind of neat. Mood bonus for rituals? Yeah, let's go give it a shot. Hang on a second. Do we have the... Uh... Do we have the Jubilee of Stone? 1.5 more days from now. Let's put all of the speakers. In conclusion, we'll wait one more day, 
and will begin the Jubilee of Stone in our temple. Let us let us do that. Grognavisk, thanks very much for the prime. Appreciate it. Uh, it draws in visitors, too. I'll leave this colony here in case if I ever want to come back to it and experiment with anything, because it has been an interesting experiment, but... Um, my brain is kind of turning to mush. I've been streaming for a while. Hmm. Good, we will have... <laughs> Such a strange temple. I, I probably need to be more selective about some of the things that I pick for my ideology next time. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. <laughs> but that's what we started out with. <laughs> that's what we started out with. Yes, we will begin the Jubilee of Stone. Forbid this door. This is a... A work, uh... It's just for show. And this is also kind of bothering me how this is asymmetrical. We'll also build another light for literally no reason there, because we are... We are good with this colony. Hmm. Think I'm good? Think I'm good. Sir Snaily, thanks very much for the prime. Do you have a stream schedule? Right now I've been going Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Thinking of adding in one more day, but I also just... Uh, I want more time to kind of produce the streams a little bit. We'll go back to more, like, segmented streams soon. I promise. We've been, uh, we've been exploring RimWorld, but this has been a lot of fun. Probably go back to doing some CDDA, try out a few new games. Uh, could use a little break from RimWorld, too, now. We've been doing it a lot. But I just, I like it. If if I were to play one game on my own now, like, not streaming or anything, it would just be RimWorld. Probably a lot of it. A melee one, because I want to depict you killing a zombie in The Walking Dead. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Well, thank you. That's very, very generous. Along with all of your extreme generosity. Jesus. Though I do like zombie fan art. Zombie fan art is probably some of the best fan art. Hmm. I would say, yeah, probably the German World War One trench spike, if I'm being honest with you. But if I'm being, like, for the look of it, I would probably say, like, a bat with nails in it. Or a sword. Just, like, a medieval sword for some reason. Have I been promoting the Twitch channel on YouTube? No, I kind of like it to be a, my, my well-kept secret. With the VODs channel, if you call that a secret. But it's been, uh, it's been nice to uh, just do, like, long-form stuff. I feel like ending it on two years, two years into a playthrough on the Jubilee of Stone uh, will be a perfectly fitting end. We have we have uh, found the weapon, and it's so hard to find a legendary weapon. I'm not even sure if you can create one by hand unless if they're experiencing an inspiration. I think they need to be experiencing an inspiration and so many other things. The thing is that this weapon is just so rare because it's uncraftable without mods, and it's a legendary version of it too. Unless if all plasma swords are, whatever they are, mono swords are legendary. Hmm. I think that there should be a Half-Life mod. Gordon Freeman's armor. And then you get a, yeah, a crowbar as like your mono sword. But it has the same stats as a mono sword. That would actually be kind of badass. Yeah, I want to get back in my dual wielding mods. There's so many more mods I've wanted to... And I just won't shut up about throughout this entire playthrough, but... It'll be nice to get him back on. Alexa, thanks very much for the Prime. Hmm. Do I know a good mod for the stone trash? Oh, uh, you gotta go, uh... Stack XXL, Ogre Stacks. One of those kinds of mods. There's all kinds of different arguments people have given me with different ones about their, like, uh, optimization. I, I haven't really checked out any of the coding. Deep storage. LWM's deep storage is one I always use. Raid by the javelins. But now they don't really... Oh, God. That's a lot of them. Okay, this is at least an exciting finish to the colony. We're going to extract the mono sword and then fight off the enemy. Dispatch our adversaries or all die. Oh, but I almost forgot that we had a... Uh, I didn't see, uh, go without the doomsday rocket launcher for nothing, did I? Where is the Doomsday Rocket Launcher? Ah, there it is. Okay. It all leads up to the, to the finale. Ah, fantastic way to end this. Okay, they're all going to come in. And who is going to get that? Hippopotamus. Great. Hippopotamus is the 
like trick shot. I am going to draft everyone except for Hippopotamus, who is grabbing the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. I believe that's everyone. Spoon is also asleep. We'll stay in the darkness because they get upset during the day. And we will shoot them with the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Now, who's got the uh, who's got the Mono Sword? Oh, uh, you didn't pick it up, actually. Hang on a second. Where did you put the Mono Sword? Oh, for God's sake, where did you put the Mono Sword? Is it in your inventory? Where is the Mono Sword? Okay, he's got it. Some. Where did he put it? Hang on a second. Oh, it's over there. Go equip that. Cheetah, you're the one who is meant to wield this weapon. You are very powerful. Even more, perhaps, than Nugfur. Mm, you stand there. You stand there. You stand there. You stand there. Uh, and you with the Doomsday Rocket Launcher, you get somewhere very out in the open. You go there. This is fear. I don't know why they put it in the... Oh, because they don't have enough room in the new weapon storage. No, I think that the Doomsday Rocket Launcher will take all of them out. Uh, which place are they going for, though, to attack me? Do they have these breach axes? Is that a breach axe? No, just a normal steel axe. Ah, uh, they are going for this thing. They're trying to avoid the traps. Hang on a second. Everyone go back to whatever you were doing. Act naturally. Hippopotamus... Get out there, I'm going to blow them up. My relic would be a Doomsday Rocket The Doomsday Rocket Launcher does get used up once we uh, have finished it. Single-use Rocket Launcher that fires a massive explosion. So this is the non-3 one. There is one that fires three rounds. I'm just going to have you stand very, very far back. Past the anima tree. Please don't do something very anticlimactic. That would be very disappointing. That seems like a very small blast radius, but this would be a smashing conclusion. Perfect. Uh, actually, a little bit anticlimactic, because I was hoping we'd be able to go after them with the mono sword, but unfortunately, uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. What about you, Nicole? Well, now we will commence the Jubilee of Stone. And there will be merriment. Artistic, not good at crafting. I don't want you. Wooden mace, I don't want you. We'll take all of your stuff and we'll use it for fun during the Jubilee of Stone. Or rather, we won't because we don't use mind-altering substances. Cheetah, reinst... Uh, hang on a second. You gotta drop that. Drop your mono sword. Good. Bring it back over to the reliquary and then we will commence the Jubilee of Stone. How mangled are they? Oh, they're they're fine. They're just sleeping. His right arm was burned off. This one's nose was burned off. Everything will be burned off of this one soon. This one is another right leg burned off. My god. It really does hurt to get hit with one of these things. Oh, we didn't check on you. Undergrounder body modder. God, it took off all of their legs. This thing is like, uh, what is it? Uh, what's that weapon in Fallout? Yeah, rebuild that wall. Good. We needed that. All right. The day has come. In only seven more hours, we will begin. Overall, uh, I'm trying to think of whether it's more my ideology ability or... I think I've just gotten better at RimWorld over the years. But this is neat because it, it makes it feel like that there was something worth fighting for. A lot of RimWorld just feels kind of generic. Like, well, here we are sitting in our base with smoke leaf when we're done. But now it feels like you, there was actually a culture being built up underneath it. Kind of like in a Rise of Nations or another game like that. Yeah, the Fat Man. That was the, the weapon in uh, Fallout. I forgot that name. There will be merriment today. I will never do cleaning because you're a slob. Oh, the time is coming. The time is coming. And then maybe we should execute everyone. <laughs> We should accuse someone of something, too. Winters, you're useless right now. Cheetah, uh, you go ahead and re-equip. 
I, I think, though, that there's enough specialized weapons that RimWorld feels more like a story than just a simulation. So I, I think overall, you know, despite all the critical things that I've said, I, I do feel like we've come full circle, and I feel like that this this DLC does add a lot of interest in the game. I couldn't... I don't think I would want to go back to playing it without it. Uh, except for certain situations. Here we go. There is the Jubilee of Stone. Uh, no, don't cancel it. I forgot to read over it, though, before they begin. <laughs> this one is literally throwing up from the Jubilee of Stone. Fantastic. Amazing. It's a, a success it has been. Maybe there was a keg stand or something like that. Fun Jubilee of Stone. Okay, they did fine. Hmm. Side focus. Everyone participating in the ritual gained... Thought he was 98%. Okay, nice. Uh, focus objects, a light ball or ritual spot. I'm not, I'm still trying to figure out this reliquary. I think it's more for random events that happen later on, like people visiting the colony. But yeah, it happened. Ah, uh, like Manson, I actually read some Kafka before. I would, send me, send me what you want of G.K. Chesterton and I will oblige. I don't really know any of his stuff. I did read some Franz Kafka at the beginning of the stream, but I will gladly do it again to uh, to commemorate this colony. But do send me some of that. I couldn't find you on the Discord from the last time, though. But fantastic. This has been a good colony. I feel like I thoroughly got to experience the tunnelers. Unfortunately, we didn't get an infestation. I think I'm just going to call in an infestation before I finish, because I cheated myself some gold, so I might as well cheat in myself something... Something bad, right? I want to see how an infestation would have gone. And I also want to kind of show you how an infestation is should be treated. Uh, are you... Hippopotamus is not our... Drop your flak jacket and also drop your flak vest. I'm going to give... Cheetah is going to be my main melee colonist for this. Okay, let's just go over how to deal with an infestation. We'll get... We'll just call one in somewhere and then we'll... F uh, We'll fight it off. Hippopotamus needs a weapon. I'll give you a steel spear. That should be fine. Do we have any Molotov cocktails in here? Okay, we do. Hippopotamus, you grab the Molotov cocktails. Are you a brawler? No, you're okay. All right, so let's go over infestations. Uh, we're going to go spawn ourselves in an infestation. Hmm. Incident... Uh, let's see. Infestation. We'll just spawn one in. Did we actually manage to get it in the expected spot? Okay, so no. An infestation did not happen in the expected spot. Um, this happens, but it's okay. I've just been keeping other parts of my base dirty. It'll often happen somewhere where it's warm, dirty, and underground. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just... Ah, damn it. I quit again. Here we go. Ah, yes. That would be a good way, like Manson. Yeah, just ping me on the Discord. That would that would be most appreciated. Hmm. Give me a moment. Okay, let's uh, draft all of our colonists. So the first thing you want to do whenever you see an infestation, draft everyone immediately. Uh, this is actually quite a terrible spot to get infested because it's so open. You want to narrow it to one doorway. And what I might actually do is just quickly prioritize one colonist so that we can make as small an entryway as possible. So... Let's say uh, Winters is our fastest constructor. He's somewhat far away from this entire thing. But let's go ahead and tell him to construct a wall over here. There's a couple other things you could do. You could move wooden furniture in there. All kinds of stuff like that. But I want to say... I want to be able to stack up three of our colonists against some of theirs... Let's do this. That would be the absolute minimum that we would want. This could be placed a little bit better, but let's have you work on this. We turn off dev mode. Hmm. No trouble at all, Lake Madsen. Thank you very much. Okay, what I'm also going to do is say, let's just take all of these beds and let's reinstall them over here. Anything made of wood, you want to just reinstall. Don't care about your furniture. If you care about your furniture, you're going to die. You might lose a colonist, too. you got to be ready to accept that. Uh, 
And let's also build a granite door right here. So we'll just build a copy of this. Hippopotamus, you deliver stuff there. Winters is reserved this. Let's get everybody else ready because they won't immediately aggro to us. We're going to have a couple seconds. In truth, maybe I should have built this back a little bit further, but let's just stack up our defenders. You stand there. And they have spawned in. Oh, this isn't actually so bad. Well, you know what I could do instead is this. I don't think we're going to have time to build any of this. Normally, I would want to create some kind of bottleneck for them to come into, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be available this time, so let's just redraft everybody. You see what I mean there, though, right? Okay, now what we want to do is take all of our melee colonists. Take your best melee colonists and just put them up to the front. Uh, as for you, I'm going to have you not fire at will. If I could fire this into an enclosed room that I could have not ventilated to us, then I would, but I can't, so I won't. Um, for right now... The thing is that we've got so many melee colonists in this place that it really isn't such a major fear dealing with an infestation. Okay, Nugfer got hit. Is he really bad? We're just going to leave our defenders here. The one thing I might want to do here is this. Move these guys back because right now I got 3v2 right here. So we want to have everybody like this nice. instead. Run back. Uh, I mispositioned them slightly. Do that. You go there. You stay there. You come back here. And you go there. Well, you just want to have as many melee colonists as strong as possible in the best armor that you can in the front. See, we got, what, four hives there? Somebody went down. Cheetah went down, but that's okay. He didn't get so badly hurt. Normally, I'd have better armor on those guys, like have them in power armor or something. But there. Mid-game infestation. No problem. In fact, this would have been an even better spot because we could have stacked him up 3v2. But... <laughs> Actually, I was kind of rushing there. Yeah. Don't do any of the things that I just did, in conclusion. Just try to outnumber them if you can do all 3v1s. That's for the best. You go back. I'm pretty sure they'll be fine for the rest of this fight. Oh, why did I have you fire at will, for God's sake? Don't try to burn your colonists, either. Okay, I think we're pretty much there now. We're done. Destroy these things. And then just send somebody in to destroy the hive. See, that wasn't so bad. We got infested. We didn't even lose anybody. And that was honestly one of the worst spots for them to infest. The best thing that you want to do is have them spawn in some room that you can cut off. But I'm just not as afraid of them anymore because I discovered the melee. Kill a cheese. Thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Nah, infestations are okay. But I, I don't know, I used to really struggle with those because I would just be afraid of them and I would just run away. Uh, which is absolutely not what you want to do. But there you have it. The uh, neckbeard mole people colony. That was good. Had a good time. Had a jubilee. Had an infestation and a not... Ex I thought there would be more infesting. I guess our wealth just isn't that high. Yeah, maybe I will play on losing is fun next time. Get that penoxicillin out. Anyway, I think we'll uh, I think we'll call.